Ahoy! How's it going, gang? Let's all just check in. Let's go around the room. Everybody, uh, say your name and uh, how your day has been. Is it freezing in here? From MacArthur Park, which is melting in the dark and all that sweet green icing flowing down. Harmontown is in session, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna break ranks right now and break tradition. Rob Cordry is here. Rob, get out of here. I'm bringing you up first, Rob Cordry. Rob Cordry. <laughs> Wherever you like, Rob, make yourself comfy. Let's bring out Spencer Critton and everybody. Spencer! Oh, yeah. And the mayor of Harmontown is Dan Anastasia Harmon. Hello, thank you. Oh, I really want to thank you. More than a bucket of gratitude. Damn, seems like back in the day, I used to thank you in a shorter way used to just say thanks and then go away but now the gratitude takes all day it seems like I say thanks in a song that lasts long and then it brings the energy down at the top of the show wanna thank you Welcome, everybody, to Harmon Town, the greatest show on earth. You're making some structural changes. You brought the guest out. I, you know, I, I got excited. I got excited. I got excited. That, I, was, I, I, that was really weird. I, I'm not a big biblical scholar, but I say don't keep your light under a bushel. You got a Rob Cordry hiding backstage. Yeah. Get the motherfucker out of here. Yeah. I had to pee. I was hoping I'd have time to oh, pee. Oh, you want to go back? You nah, can go back. I don't care. I'll hold it. Yeah. I don't know, mine too. It's kind of like uh, I'm always jealous when I uh, see like Bill Maher clips and like he always keep, he 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 interviews everybody and then but then he holds people captive for his like final <laughs> thoughts bit. Like they they've clearly been instructed like you're not allowed you're not allowed to feed back now. The camera changes angles and then everybody if you laugh at Bill Maher they cut to you laughing. But that's it. That's all you get. Like you can't. And uh, so that's got you know like maybe for for my uh, I mean why do we why do we think I have to have an opening and then we bring out the guy? We don't have a format to the show. No. It's ridiculous. We're terrible people for ever thinking that the show had any form to it. I'd rather be out here just commenting on everything you're saying. Yeah. I have one thing to share <laughs> that, I, that I wanted to make sure I remembered. First of all, I want to, I mean, you, you guys, I don't know if you've heard this yet, and I may be spilling the beans a little bit, but Chernobyl got a second season. I'm really excited about <laughs> it. Yeah, very, it's very popular. Very popular show. I mean, they just had, they, they don't know what they're going to do yet, but... <laughs> It, it, like because there was, those, there, was, there was kind of a will they won't they between I did, well, uh, yeah between the fictional woman that they gave all of the yeah they're yeah. they're like by the way she didn't exist but and, and we two birds because we didn't have a lot of female characters that weren't just giving birth to deformities and so we just <laughs> and, and and arguing with each other about but I want to touch my boyfriend you can't touch your boyfriend he's radioactive. Um, but it's set in a Nantucket airport. It's kind of like Wings. I mean, it is right there at Chernobyl, and they all are there. It is truly. I mean, and I thought this was an uplifting thing about the human like like psyche, because truly, like I did definitely by the fourth episode, I was I did say on more than one occasion through the th different combinations of the three characters who are the only people that are not dying rapidly. I was like, you guys gonna fuck or what? <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was like uplifting because it's like none of those people are uh, page three uh, uh, material yeah. uh, pinups. Like, and, and I thought, I was like, oh, we're not shallow. We, lo we love love. That's why we ship. We're not like, we're not like, hey, you should fuck because you look good together. You know, it's like, 
just somebody fuck because like there's so much vulnerability going on here. Come on, you love her. Let kiss him. Here's I, I love Chernobyl. Just I, I actually rewatched uh, episode one today just because I was I was I missed it. Uh, and I w- went back and started watching it. But th- there's a love affair with the director. I, th- I don't know if this, it was the same director all the way through. Did I think you, it have was. you watched it, Rob? I watched uh, the uh, half of the first one, but I fell asleep because I was drunk. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess. I guess the second season, they they just like they they had to do a little fudging, but like like couple people go into remission. And well, they've already they're... announced that Richard Kind is on in season two. <laughs> Richard Kind. Yeah. Yes. Richard ba- Kind and Ariana Grande. What? We need, we need you back. The, the, the cold open of season two is the cat nibbles the rope and the guy falls. And he's like, oh, oh, I, I think wake Gutenberg up. is in it. Wake too. up, you son of a bitch. I'm one of the two characters that talks like this. The good one, not the one that looks like he should be in Pink Floyd. Um, <laughs> on the kind that looks kind of like Bill Murray. Uh, that's like the good cop, the bad cop guy with you. The, 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 I'm the guy, the, that guy. The guy with the inchworm on his hand. Wake up, Valerie. Valerie! I liked that. Chernobyl was great. I can see what all the hubbub was about. It was quite a compelling... Uh, yeah. I thought it was very... without. There's, there's no spoilers in saying this. It struck structurally... Uh, you can't spoil the end of Chernobyl. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I uh, I, thought, I just thought it was I was I was because it's like well how would you how would you tell that narrative where would you start would you do a ton of like flashing back or a little bit are you gonna start in the courtroom and all that stuff that they they really threaded that needle like in a fun way it was like they start just seconds because one the thing I take explosion. away from Chernobyl is the fun yeah. <laughs> um, or they actually, what, well, they, what start, they, they start with a little prologue and then I won't spoil that but like and then it's like but then it's mostly like they just dig in to everything happening second by second right after the explosion which you just miss in the in the in, in, in and then eventually you're going to go back to all the moments leading up to before the explosion and it's that's book ending like all of the And uh, you don't really find out w- what exactly happened until yeah. the very end like, like they finally explain what the disaster was Yeah it was a, a Soviet communism Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, like, Wasn't that the disaster? Yeah. <laughs> it was like the USSR was the disaster, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you would expect, yeah. It's like, I guess that's the one thing communism got wrong is that they were like, they tried to save so much money. I mean, that's, yeah. that should be capitalism's job. They were so cheap. They're just like, well, just put graphite on the tips. That'll be great. It'll give you a little boost when you pop those fucking rods in. A <laughs> mm, little more bang for your nuclear buck. Should we put uh, should we put some uh, walls around in case in case of what? In case we want to spend more money, get your ass back in the fucking Kremlin. I fucking turn your ass into the guy with were the you, cane. Were, were you were you strong bad just there? Well, that's everybody in that in that in that oh. thing is like everybody's like smoking right. cigarettes. I love that the thing blows up and then everyone's like smoke them if you got them. Like, like, like well, I was, yeah, but that's what I was gonna say. The director has a love affair with long lingering shots of a cigarette in an ashtray. Yeah, there, there'll be a, someone will put a cigarette in an ashtray and then he just slowly. Zoom I think that was, that was their way of saying to you like. I know I'm making a five-episode miniseries about a thousand people dying of cancer in front of you, um, but hey, so like you watch you watch Die Hard, they're all smoking in that. They're it's basically the same thing. <laughs> Just giving yourself cancer in different right. ways. Come and, on, and but, also a, a building blows up. It's it's, it's kind of the same. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about it. Chernobyl, uh, or, or did Die Hard rip off Chernobyl? Or yes. What was yeah? Uh, see, the Soviet Union is a lot like Century City. It is. What do you think about it? Right. The coolest shot in Chernobyl, I thought, was the shot of looking down at the pre-exploded reactor core, and then the the, yeah, the, like rods the, the matrix of, yeah. of control rods. It was like it was, it was yeah. like they're popping. I up. like when uh, when uh, Alec, uh, Alan Rickman said to shoot the glass. Yeah. 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 Because he was barefoot. Yeah. Listen, I'm not. Uh, we have to do one more season. <laughs> oh. We're going back to Chernobyl. We're going back. Is that your it's Craig Mason? They so, they, so, they, so, so they, I watched a documentary where they built the big housing that, that they put over it that's going to last 100 years, they think. Right. And they built a big house over the top of the thing to contain it. And they, ha- they have robots dismantling all the shit mm-hmm. over the next 1,000 years by like remote control. But then they got one dude going down there and w- holding up fireman pants just so the epilogue can have a shot of them. By the way, you can't touch these fuckers. 
Yeah, but you put can them wear, down. You can wear a suit. And you can be in there for a little while, but you you got to get the fuck out. Like the, the 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 work exposure there is like you you, you get like six minutes or something. Aren't, aren't there like um, uh, vacations like Chernobyl vacations now? You can go to Chernobyl and see like the fucking merry-go-rounds. I, be, I, I bet I I bet they uh, are at competitive rates. Yeah, it's not expensive. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, but I wish I was, I was like, well, a get rid of weekend. those, pick hey, up kids. those goddamn fireman pants that you say are still too radioactive to touch and put them somewhere else, but it's like, well, where, where, where are you going to put them? Keep them in Chernobyl. Like, right. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of counterintuitive at first, but it's like, when the dog would shit and my dad would be like, well, let it dry and we'll sweep it up. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, what, what are we going to do? Gra- gra- grab the moist dog shit, smear it on the floor, dab it around, spray things, and then our house will be a museum to hygiene. <laughs> now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just like, fucking leave it. The dog already shit. We're already pigs. Nothing's going to change ten minutes from now except that shit's going to be less gross to touch. <laughs> How's your how's your pee pee? Oh, what was going? I don't know. I'm on I'm on I'm on Azos the uh, Azos. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the Some yeah. Azos. Woo! Azo fans. My sisters know what I'm talking about. Girls. Maximum strength. You you girls do the uh, complimentary cranberry pill pack. <laughs> Someone <went>, yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's a UTI at this point. I mean, if you take antibiotics for all of the bottle and then it's like I'm just I got but I got doctor's appointments. So let's find out. I got the keys to my house on Wednesday. Oh yeah? The the way I understand God, although I hope he's not listening, I didn't or if he gets offended by this kind of thing, but I just this is what I've always been terrified of. It's like here's your house, here's your cancer. Like why why wouldn't you do that on the same day? Like it, 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 it's how my story should end. It, it, it's like 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 my, and I I at least get to spike that football in my therapist's office. Like I was I was like uh, so I remember you kept asking me like why am I afraid to be happy? You know? Yeah yeah. What I said? Oh, uh, pull up an X-ray. That's so like. What do you think, bitch? <laughs> Looks like fucking there is a God and he's the devil. <laughs> Looks like my misery was keeping people happy and making God happy. And he was like, spin, little top, spin. And then I was like, I got a house. And he's like, fuck you, I'm done with you. <laughs> like, he's just like, like, like humans are like, yeah, whatever. I was going to, I was going to, yeah, no, no, but I believe, I, like, also in case. <sighs> Dan what, doesn't uh, have cancer. In, ca- in case oh, one of, one of God's Relax. rules is, I, I, in case in case he chooses differently, to, uh, to, like maybe the maybe you're, it goes by the rules like you're supposed to be like, oh, I don't care if I have it, and I still love God, I, I guess, and that's how, how he doesn't give it to you. I don't. Whatever the rules are, just fuck, just like uh, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you made my sister retarded for like nothing. It was just like a. It just just seems like a mob move. It's just Nobody a mob did move. Anything. To like Nobody walk into anything. your house and be like, nice sister. <laughs> Jesus Have fun being Christ. famous for your intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, you're awing God alongside me. Like, and don't say too soon. I'm 46. I've grown up under this thumb. It's terrifying. Too late. To, you know, it's, 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 it's mafia stuff, you know? It's just mafia tactics. If you're gonna make a people and you want them to like be grateful, just give out candy. I, I like I, we've got we've got a whole generation of kids that, that that didn't get beaten and they're doing fine. I told you I went to Disneyland with some of these kids. They're, they're, they didn't get hit. They're fine. They're fine. They're not killing anybody. We didn't. We don't. We don't gotta work like this. You know, God. Okay, so I, I, I'll, 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 I'll tell I'll tell you one thing and then I'll sit down because that's the format of the show. So I've been so my stru- structure is our kind of uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of our bag here. That's so what my, I love about this show. My <laughs> old house, like I'm Strict, still strict here in structure. Still putting some final touches on the electronic system at the old house, right? Uh, and uh, so so like, oh, do I, if I press this, does the does the does the music play as quickly as it does for a poor person? Not yet. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine because I'm leaving now. So just like we'll just Airbnb it and we'll trick people. They'll see screens all over the walls and they'll be like, ooh, does Buck Rogers live here? And I'll be like, yeah. How have fun with that. Uh, you're going to be getting a boombox from your car in 10 minutes. But, uh, it's, you know, it's the whole thing. And it's like, oh, geez, you, you press this button, and then the shades do this, and then the whatever. It's, it's a dream unachieved. 
But, uh, and I was like, this was like the fourth company, maybe fifth company to come through. Every company shit talks the last one. They're like, well, those guys didn't know what they were doing. And we do. And so we're going to do it. So, and I just wanted to share. I mean, everybody does something fucked up. Everybody does some crazy thing. And there's buttons everywhere and whatever. So obviously there's going to be a few bugs to work out. But they leave and they go like, here you go, like ch test it out for a couple of weeks. We'll, 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 and then we'll, and then we'll uh, work out the kinks, the little things, the things that we, we maybe tend to overlook. Little, little things. So I go to bed, I sleep, I wake up. I wake up to the sound of the dogs barking because someone's knocking on the door. It's Dave Klein, the uh, trainer. Uh, I'm like, what? I didn't even hear. Come to think of it, I don't think I've heard a doorbell in days. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I go down and I open the door and I go, did you try the doorbell? He goes, yup. Yup. Uh, yup. And, uh, and I go, oh, did you, it did, did the doorbell ring just downstairs or whatever? He's like, uh, I heard like a, I did hear like a, a light tone of some kind coming from like next to the door. And I was like, okay. So I go outside, I close the door, uh, and I ring the doorbell and I hear click. Uh, and I try the door, it's, it, the doorbell unlocks the front door. Whoa! <laughs> it doesn't even say ding dong and unlock the door. It keeps the victim s sleeping. Just get some sleep, where this is for the rapist. <laughs> that is a huge snafu. It, 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 was like, it, was like, it was like, oh, can, are there any tweaks you want to do? Yeah, could you have my, my gun? Could you have my gun open in a compartment and just come down? It, how, you, how much for the sword of Damocles? <laughs> can, I, can I have a, a giant sword hanging over my bed by a thread? The doorbell opens the door. <laughs> It's but, kind of genius. It's like cut out the middle step. For, for <laughs> years, we as savages have been in a, an untrusting weather. Oh, ding dong. Oh, so like that means it's time for me to go down and let you in. Ah, bah, says the algorithm. Yes. Yeah, so long, knock knock, who's there? Yeah. <laughs> knock knock, rape. Uh, <laughs> Just, just skip right to you standing over my bed. Like, you came here to do that. You brought tools. Why use them? Save those tools for, for a, a poorer person's house that's going to make you scrape away at the door lock. I'm rich. Come on in. Save your pliers. Just get your night vision goggles out and commence. Just, 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 just put, the, put the teacups and the saucers on my back. Ooh. Oof. Wait, yes. what? Remember you that? Get it. You get it. I don't. He doesn't remember. Rob, explain it to Jeff. I don't remember. What was it? it was, you don't um, remember? Oh, the, um, it you was remember. the California murderer. Golden, Golden State. Uh, Golden State killer. Yeah. And the put, California murderer. He put saucers on your back? Oh, he sure did. He sure did, Jeff. He sure did, was, Jeff. Was I here for that he show? He found after I'm a while. Sure that it's were. not a show, Jeff. It's a fucking serial killer's M.O. <laughs> but he, went, he would have tea while he was... <laughs> God, no. He would have tea it's on your back after he killed you, <laughs> Jeff. He would put clinky china on the I was husband's. not here for this. If you, if you no, just it was a show, yeah, you, man. I don't. You put, I don't know. He you would, put, he put loud stuff on the husband. Oh, this is terrible. On the husband's back while he raped his wife. So if the husband started moving, it would break the china or whatever. Ah. The china would fall off the husband's back. Comedy show. Have you been, Cordry? What's, what's, what's new with you? What, what, what? <laughs> uh, catch us up and what's... Uh, what, yeah, just been up to murdering. Just murdering. <laughs> oh, season 93 of Ballers. Season 93 of Ballers. Been murdering people. Mm, Balling. I'm a baller. You are a baller. Yeah, Ballers is over, I think. What? Yeah. What? Oh, well, we'll see. Damn. Um, it's, uh, we just finished the season uh, five. Oh, and right. that might... Ballers oh, yeah. Endgame? It, ballers <laughs> Endgame. We, then we're going to do the other, the next, right. uh, yeah. So you, uh, some people in the industry call you the kiss of death because you keep having shows that go on for several seasons and then strangely <laughs> they just end. It's the best, yeah. We end after, uh, we end when we want to end. That's, yeah. It's the kiss of death. You, you're the kiss of death. <laughs> you're the cream reaper <laughs> of success. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know where the expression wheelhouse comes from? Like it's in your wheelhouse? No, go ahead. 
It's like a weird thing. Like uh, <laughs> it's it's a it's a two step uh, idiomatic process. It starts with uh, uh, wheel houses, like as a in a in paddle boats or uh, paddle wheels. Like I don't know if it's like stationary for power or whatever. Like paddle water wheel technology, where it's like if it's if you're if something's in the wheelhouse, it's gonna get the full force of the wheels like, impact. Uh, but then that isn't necessarily like, man, that's your expertise. Like it doesn't translate to that. But then baseball used that phrase to like mean that that's in your wheelhouse. It's basically your strike, your strike zone. zone. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like you could fucking knock that out of the park. That's in your wheelhouse. Like they're, oh. they're be ido idiomatically, but then we idiomatically are borrowing from baseball. But, and the whole time we're going wheelhouse. I don't know. I'm, I'll look it up one day. <laughs> I always thought, you know what I would have guessed? My guess was always just like, oh, a wheelhouse is just like a, a old timey garage. Like they didn't call them garages. Like they probably called them wheelhouses you at first. You thought it was a wheel. Like right. that's where you park your wheels. Well, you're, 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 before there were uh, even wagons. Sure. There were just, it was like, well, what, what are you going to call wheels. it? You're not going to call it a carport. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a wheelhouse. And sure. It's like probably where people always did more of their work. You know, like, oh, before, well, put before it Before that, they called it, uh, that, that was in your hoof hut. <laughs> right, that's absolutely true. Yeah, that's in your that's in your cow's uh, udder. <laughs> uh, that's in your that's in your that's in the that's in the corner of your cave that you don't shit in. Yeah, that was a clunky. Yeah. So they had to like. <laughs> But the, okay. the word for that was just UG. It was like they just had less words, but it meant more. Like cavemen had like six words. I love um, baseball metaphors. I'm not even that huge a fan of baseball, but I'm a huge fan of baseball metaphors like strike zone. Mm -hmm. Like, here's my favorite one. Um, well, you were, the first couple of years at Harmontown, you were swinging three bats. But now you're up to the plate swinging one bat. No, okay. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, That's yeah. my favorite one. Time. <laughs> it means that it's you're just hitting fucking home runs now, because you're done. You're like, you for, you're not no longer. <laughs> okay. So hitting listen, home runs is another no baseball metaphor. You're no longer swinging those three heavy bats. Right. You're swinging one light. It feels so much lighter. Follow me. You're swinging. So Dan, <laughs> you used to have. Three big old wooden bats, and you're swinging them. Why would I do that? To, to just to make my arms uh, stronger. You're just figuring out the show, okay. i.e. the bats but, but, uh, in your I, hand. I, I've always said like I got uh, this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, Jeff. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, this is your wheelhouse. You're trying to help. <laughs> yeah, you know, we used to say like swinging two bats in the on deck circle. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, Did I, I not say that? Does part? that mean like over preparing? Three bats. Or? Oh, shit. Well, I usually ever swing done three bats. bats no one's while ever I'm done in the three bats. Circle. The human hand can't hold three bats. I hold three bats, man. Yeah? Whoa. I got huge hands. Does that mean like over preparing, swinging multiple bats? Like, it's a, is it, like, no. or is it like just preparing? Swinging in general, two bats or? in the on deck circle is like you, you, you're swinging a heavier thing, and then, I, you, and then you, and you get into the, to the, into the batter's box. <laughs> this was a super clear metaphor, but <laughs> oh, I feel like I've been using the clunkiest metaphor ever now. Yeah. Well, because what is it? I need to understand the implication of swinging more I bats. I don't know. I think maybe because I use it uh, in, in um, regards to your show, which has always been great. It, do, do, I think, uh, do baseball people swing more than one bat yes. because they want their right. arms to be more accustomed to heavier yeah. weight so that when they yeah, swing so, so a so single yeah. bat, they're like, this is nothing. Well, when you get up yes. there, you're, okay. you're, you're, it seems you're, childish. Your bat, <laughs> your bat speed is faster when you get to the plate because you've been swinging a heavier bat. Because I think yeah, right now, in cartoon these days, world, what they or, do is they or you put, made your arms tired. They put a weight at the end of their bat. now. Right. They don't hold They, they put bats. a donut on it. They put a donut on it. Exactly. Yes, do. But it's like, it's like putting weights on your ankles before your basketball inning starts. That's right. Like you That's to, exactly right. You used to wear heavy shorts <laughs> before you play a basketball yeah. inning. Uh, if, if, if you look at warm ups and warm ups, they all wear heavier shorts. Yeah. Yep. But I you, used to, I use that metaphor a lot, even though like like wait you wait like, like oh I was playing with weights on my ankles right and then you take them off. So that that's the same thing, right? That's the same metaphor. Right. You use that one? I've used it in the past because good one. I've often felt like I was. Uh, overqualified for uh, a job at hand and was going to go in and just uh, dominate. So, and I run out of ways to express that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's important that I be relatable. Oh, I so regret this metaphor. Bringing <laughs> up this metaphor. 
Give, give, us, give us some more of your favorite baseball metaphors. Oh, okay. Rob. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a host of relatable ways of explaining your domination to people. Like, well, man, sometimes I, got, I'm talking I had two to pickles on my fucking <laughs> tennis racket, and I still fucking... You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I mean. No. Did you see that, that girl, a 15-year-old beat Venus Williams today in Wimbledon? 15 years old. Oh, and she, and two she, pickles. And she, yeah, she, was, uh, she, was swinging, she was swinging four tennis rackets before the match. Mm. See? <laughs> nah. 15. 15 years old. She wasn't even born when Venus had already had four grand slams. That's Do they still make the lady tennis players wear the little skirts? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know, but at Wimbledon, you have to wear white. I know that. You have to wear your Wimbledon whites. Mm. Someone in the audience whispered yes. Yeah. And, and, and do, they, <laughs> do they make or do they choose? I mean, are they, I'm sure. Was it, was there it, can't was be. It, there's was no a cranberry way. lady who went, yes. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way when you go into Wimbledon, like you go into like the Westworld antechamber where they're like, pick your tennis outfit. And then like Serena Williams reaches for shorts and they're like, uh-uh, gender foul. Like, you got to wear a skirt, girl. There's no way that's happening, I right? Think, I think the skirt's probably a, a good move. Like, you're running all over the shop. You, you, then why don't the guys wear the skirts? That's true. Exactly. Exactly. There's your gender oh. problem. You just said a mouthful there, pal. Why don't guys just wear skirts all the oh. time? They're so comfortable. But I'm saying uh, it seems clear that there's no distinct, that it's not uh, 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 related to, the, to the, any advantage on court. Whether you're wearing shorts or skirts, otherwise, also, I, I th one I think both sexes would wear. You're just uh, saying, like, maybe tennis is like. I'm just curious. This is about, a sex I'm scene. always curious about, like, when you get little outfits involved in any kind of right. long standing thing that's, like, right. very esteemed and, like, the people involved are very, like, they discipline themselves and, like, it's all this stuff. And then in these, like, turbulent times, I'm like, are they ever gonna? Is it, is it, is it, is that, is that, I'm always curious, like, is somebody like, Man, I didn't come all this way to be the complain about the skirt lady <laughs> in, in Wimbledon. Like, it's like you prob probably a part of you is like, I'm going to be wearing that skirt and fucking shove this ball down your fucking throat. Like, you're, the skirt is part of your fantasy of dominating the world, which is part of your empowerment. It's, just, it's fun to think about. I can't watch uh, beach volleyball because I'm always like, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's good? It's know, all like, like the tiniest bikinis on the guys. On the fellas. <laughs> right. It's just that everybody's wearing the tiniest clothes ever. Yeah. And, and um, I'm well, you, always, you, like, looking at their eyes. <laughs> and I can't catch the game, I'm, so I just don't watch it. I think that's sort of what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. And I guess no? I'm always on guard. I'm, I'm always, like... I'm always but, but in warm-ups, they have to wear two bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it better for, the, for game time. I'm always, I'm always like a tornado watch, like I'm watching the distant horizon of sports outfit problematization because I'm like, are they one day gonna, are they gonna come for the figure skaters? Yeah. And is it yes. gonna be all about talent one yeah. day? First they came for the figure skaters. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, I enjoy figure skating for the wrong reasons. Uh, I don't enjoy it. I do. <laughs> All right? And I am impressed with the prowess and the discipline, but it's, well, it just it's, makes me nervous. Yeah, the, I, I, gymnastics and figure skating is too yeah. stressful because when, when they leap and then it's like they're either gonna yeah it's like yeah, oh, and, it makes, it, and it if you fall the crowd goes oh it seems so impossible what they're doing. I can't, you, you're wearing knives on your feet and you're jumping in the air. <laughs> yes. and, you, and, you, and you're on a cold, hard, deadly surface. And the fact that they're not the carted off on a gurney after it, they, they, they should all win a, go a medal for if that. If you fall on that surface, your, your skin's going to stick to it, first of all. Oh, if you fall tongue first, you're fucking oh, done. Oh, you're fucked. You're fucking done, baby. You're done. It's, yeah, you're, yeah, you're sunk. Yeah. Yeah. But you're wearing a knife on your feet, and you got to run around. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And you know what? Yes, you should wear sequins. If you're going to die, fucking go out with some sass. Yeah, I, I, I can't watch the, bal the balance beam. It makes me want to fucking have a heart attack. Yeah, I can't watch it. It's too much, it. man. Like, it's, yeah. Balance beam, stop it. Don't do it. That's not, <laughs> Don't that's, do that. Don't do the that's, horse. That's, that's never going to come into play in real life. You're never going to have to uh, fucking also the, um, do a fucking backflip on a stick. Flipping from one end of the uh, pads to the other end of the pads. Yeah, and if you step out, you're a fucking dick. Fuck that. Yeah. 
What do you think? I can't believe that shit when they <laughs> when they when they, when they do the flip and then they land on the beam. I'm like, it's impossible. They're it, superheroes. It's not, yeah, 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 yeah. They should all just they should all be president after after yeah. even surviving. They should, yes, they should fight crime. They yeah. shouldn't be doing that shit. They should be fighting crime. Yeah. I think their bones are all splintered and they're miserable and stuff. Oh, they're not going to live long. <laughs> they're like mostly gothic now. I mean, we, I saw, you know, you saw the documentary about the, the Larry Nasser thing. Mm, there's, right. a lot of, there's a lot of uh, grown up former gymnasts, and it's like, you kind of, yeah, you oh. can see the trauma in the in the Ugh. face, and like I wonder if it's 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 like it, it, it's uh, it's uh, I was surprised. I, I learned one thing from that documentary that I that I was blown away by, which is that there was an active like threshold, but that, that prior to a certain year in the Olympics, like women's gymnastics meant literally women, which was like twenty five year old women like jumping around doing their best. Like and the idea of having a child like like do do this thing was like the same as like a child doing like the you know any of the other things and then and then this this guy like pioneered the art and science of like yeah but when you're 13 you're like blah 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 and like like just started winning gold medals like a factory with like by like just children just like a children's crusade into and now and now women's gymnastic means kids because. I was I didn't know that that was like a thing that just someone invented on top of you know I didn't either I didn't watch that documentary that was, it, was, like was it Bella some Caroli? Kind of fucked was up it? documentary I think it was the Bella guy I think that was the guy Bella Caroli okay. uh, that he was like the Ben, ben Franklin of of oh. child exploitation that motherfucker <laughs> and gold medals and gold medals was it Beastie Boys who said <laughs> I think it was the Beastie Boys who said I'm hugging more girls than Bella Caroli <laughs> <laughs> um it's a, it's a fucking lyric. I well, it's yeah, but there there's it's, words in those lyrics that made the millennials hear the words, and they had to say Jesus to it. It's too soon for you to say those words that were in those lyrics. Yeah, man, he just died. Ad Rock. Oh his yeah, name? he did. Too soon. Yeah. Too soon. Uh, can't be it, uh, continuing our in memoriam section, uh, we have lost. Who else? Who we, else is in the news? We've, we've lost our audio. Wait, Ad guy, Rock uh, died. I think. Right? Was wait, it Ad wait. Rock? NCA died. Oh, I got them all mixed up. Oh, sorry, God guys. Damn it, man! You just killed M- uh, Ad Rock and then brought him back to life. <laughs> I'm gone. The Beastie Boys are like, holy shit! I'm going to say that Mike D dies in 48 hours. Ah, <laughs> shut up! We've already lost, and then two thirds of the that's Beastie the, Boys. And that's the Jeff, one third. That's of the them. Jeff Davis guarantee. Mike D is dead in 48 oh, hours. Christ. Uh... We're losing our audio guy, Chris Baruff. Oh, uh, well, we lost him. Last week was his last week. He's still here. He's still though, here haunting us like, like the Phantom of the Opera. Because I think he's bluffing. He's doing Why a do he He's bluffing. Of uh, he's training our uh, our replacement audio guy who's stepping up. Uh, Nolan's going to take over his uh, position, so he's doing us the. Who's uh, this fellow right up here? I think that's probably Zach. That's no, that's Zach. just Zach. Zach. Yeah. Not just Zach. He's I don't know why great. I was passed over for that role. I'm pretty competent. How do you think I feel? <laughs> so right. the other fella just poked his head out. Yeah, he didn't want. Yeah, he doesn't want to be left alone. Anyways, uh-huh. but we we, we did, last week would have been the right episode to do this. But for ye- years now, sort of service the the quality audio, the uh, the Johnny on the spot uh, stunt work of like doing these live broadcasts that we do. Uh, that uh, you you guys are not hearing uh, any feedback, and it's going out live to people that pay a subscription fee. And then a couple days later, it's like all rubber banded and nicely mixed and dumping for free on the on the hoi polloi. Um, and it's um, we've we've been spoiled in our diaper of of, of amazing audio care, uh, and it's all due to Chris Baruff. So give him a give him a hand. For, <laughs> Hopefully he's dumping my audio down as I applaud. So is he like is he like fucking off to Earwolf or some shit? Is he, is he where is he going? He's already fucked off. He to got the a, Game Grumps. He got a he got a job. Is it really Game Grumps? Oh yeah. Can oh, we say cool. that? Probably. That's nice. Well, he got a job. The offer that that's kind of fucked up of them though. No, I'm kidding. They're it's, poaching. <laughs> <laughs> if they had called if they called me and said who's who's the best audio guy in the world, I so would, so, uh, so Game Grumps poached Chris off of us. Yeah, that's good. But they're, they're giving him more. He can't refuse the thing. He's got he's got little uh, Chris Baruffs in the oven. To, no, he doesn't. I, 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 I just mean his testicles. He just likes to take care of his testicles. His pants are in oven. That's uh, why we that's why we um, strive to succeed. 
But I mean, that's a lot of service for. I mean, this is a labor of love. This little cottage industry we've got. It's not like we're we're not like exploiting people, but at the same time, we're definitely not Google. Wait, do they exploit people? Or yeah. They, okay. Oh yeah. All right. Well, wait, whatever the who are the non exploiters? Uh, no one. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm one I'm one of those I'm one of those businesses where I'm like, hey, take ten percent of everything we make, <laughs> you know. And it, but if and I'm I want that to be a billion dollars, but it often isn't. And and then there's like you know it's like but and you get a little salary on top of it. But I like I like that we 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 have a little biodome of of people getting paid. Well, that's really like it's kind of revolutionary that this is a um a place where people can. Start climbing, right? At working, and then start climbing, and and act that they're still getting paid is really cool. Yeah, I've launched a lot of rockets. <laughs> oh shit! You know. Okay. I, I you know, they're. Uh, okay. Who's your Some favorite type? rocket? I didn't set out to. Uh... You know, I mean. Oh shit! <laughs> Donald I mean, Glover. I, I would count you among them. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's like, <laughs> kind of found you in yeah. the streets, like. Right. The Daily Show. You, and you, you created. <laughs> <laughs> you found me in the streets of the Daily Show. That's what I like, would do is I would hang come out. Come into a. <laughs> like, please, I invite you in to do community on NBC. Yeah, I just I just hung out. I was like, oh, poor little. Who's this little British guy? It's like, oh, John Oliver. Why don't you come play a little a little British guy over that's, here? Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Food, glorious food. Then that motherfucker was like, I don't need you. Yeah. But you know what he did do? And I'm not saying this is what you or Chris have to do. News. He mentioned me in an interview. They said, so there was in some interview with like somebody that was like a big thing. It was like, John Oliver is the greatest guy in the world. And they, you know, let's talk all about him because he's the, he's the greatest. He's doing the Lord's work. And like, and they were like, what's somebody you learned something from? And he was like, Dan Hallman. He didn't probably didn't say it like in that accent or at he, that he, volume. He probably said it with a British accent. All right. <laughs> You know, it's hit me. Guys like him and guys like Colbert um, were always like, I'm getting these opportunities, right? But all I want to do is take, go, take, read the news in the morning and send the news into the joke pipe. <laughs> and then at night, I want to do jokes about the news. That's what That's, you want to do? Uh, no, I have no interest right, in doing right. that. No, no, no. Those guys did. Like, yeah, Oliver I mean, John, John Oliver in particular, Colbert. you really have to admire his, like, yes. he. Absolutely, I Sam I, B too. I don't I don't know of Colbert or, or or Samantha, but I definitely know because he worked on right. our show and we had to negotiate with his guy. He's the same like, kind of is person. That, is that he he had lots and lots of carrots dangling of like just no, why don't you just be the fucking guy in this Adam McKay movie or whatever the yeah. fuck like you know like 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 be so an actor. Colbert and he didn't want Not to just him. definitely absolutely wanted to do the exact thing yeah. that he's doing yeah and they they both told me they were like I don't this is what I've been working up to and I don't want to do it I just discovered by doing the daily show that I want to just be making jokes about the news all the time that takes a lot of oh. It and sounds I, terrifying. And I always, like, you guys are all younger than me, and I always, like, look at you guys as grown-ups because I watched The Daily Show when I was, like, the, at the height of my, uh, like, Fear of having to move back to Milwaukee, mm -hmm. as if as if that's what you do when you fail in Los Angeles. Like the city you leave welcomes we you at the airport. We all actually have to move back yeah. to Milwaukee, <laughs> even if we haven't lived yeah, there before. Yeah. That's where we go. That's what I was like. Oh, all these guys are grown most, ups. Most people in Milwaukee aren't from Milwaukee. They, <laughs> they're they, all, they're just failed. To they were from runners. Hollywood. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> like look at all these grown ups doing news jokes. Like yeah. oh, they're yes. all they're Milwaukee all so grown up. Like news joke capital, <laughs> second tier. No, the Daily Show, Catholic. man. You guys, the the, the and and then, but and then I'm like, it always like I, I hate reading uh, John Oliver's age when you read like a, a thing about him. I'm like, oh god, he was so he's younger than me. I feel like I'm you. I, you might be. I wasn't. You weren't looking at me like that though, because I was even... like the dick joke guy on the Daily Show. I was never like the let's nail the news. Well, I don't. Let's well, really get these motherfuckers. I was like, well, what about poo? <laughs> 
I'll take your word for it, but I really don't know how it worked on that show. I mean, I don't know. I, my, my perception as a viewer was that everyone was like, it was like a face value thing, that everyone was a kind of like little producer of their own bits and stuff. Yes. Yes. Well, when that's you, true. When you that's got like a, 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 one of your remote gigs and you would yeah. go out and do a piece, is that something that you had come up with or is that, that producers and writers coming up well, with stuff? Well, that's the great thing about The Daily Show is that everybody on the show could pitch those bits, could pitch those pieces, and John would be the ultimate voice of, well, this is going to get done, and this is going to get done, and this is going to get done. And we would basically write, me and a producer would write a, uh, what we set out to get. And then we would never get that thing. We would get something completely different, and we'd come back and edit it, and John would come back into the room and, and help to craft it, and it would become something totally different and always something better. That's great. Right? But like, with me, they weren't like, I was always the dumbest guy in the room, right? And I, I learned how to be the dumbest guy in the room. And I learned how to be the, because Rob Riggle would come in and be like, with, <laughs> well, his, was, with his pipe and his Ro magnifying Rob glass. Riggle, Rob replaced me. <laughs> so I never had to be the second dumbest guy in the room. Uh, Rob definitely was like, hey, I'll be the dumbest guy now. Get out of here. <laughs> Your number's uh, up, dummy. Yeah, neither of us a new gave a shit down. about, like, we didn't understand <laughs> what we were making jokes about. We were just like, poo and dicks. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but there was a time when I got started, I got addicted to it, and I was, like, at the debates, right? Or I was in New Hampshire, and I was watching two C-SPANs at once, because there's two of those shits. <laughs> And I was watching C-SPAN. C-SPAN C -span two is where it gets kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, and John Stewart, have to his seen, credit, seen, called C-SPAN the security camera of news because <laughs> it was literally. I was watching it and it was sweeping this. And there's Rob Reiner talking to the uh, John McCain, <laughs> and then it would pass, and then you'd pass again, and there's Rob Reiner talking to John McCain again. And there's Dennis Kucinich, and there he goes. <laughs> and, uh, and I was obsessed with it, and then I realized, like, what am I doing? But um, this is never going to uh, be an interesting area. <laughs> this of... is not my felt, my <laughs> person. My, this is not who I am. But I <laughs> love my time. To what there. level did you have to become a news junkie yourself? I just, well, like I was saying before, right? I realized I was the dumbest guy in the room. And that's, but that's a good thing in that I realized, like, for the first time in my life, I wasn't trying to be smarter than I was. So then I realized that I wasn't that dumb. As I wasn't as dumb as I thought I was, but I, from, does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not like trying to be, not trying to be the smartest guy in the room makes you smart. Right. And, uh, and I felt comfortable with all these like eggheads, these political, these walks, these comedy, like fucking ninjas. <laughs> and... And, uh, and then I just felt comfortable, and, I, and then I got it. I got the whole thing. But I, then they got me, and they still realized that I was the poo and dick guy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are the people that go through and watch everything and collate? Like, 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 even like on, on John Oliver on, uh, on l last week, tonight, or whatever, uh, th there's people that edit, like, and now this, and it's a bunch of clips. Like, how does somebody go through all oh, of that yeah. shit? So, all right, there's this guy on The Daily Show. He's still there, and he's been there since the beginning. His oh, name's really? Adam John Chonikoff. Oliver didn't get him, because you, you know. Yeah, I know. No, there's a lot. John Oliver snatched up a lot of guys. Colbert snatched up a lot of guys. But there's still this dude. I still think he's on The Daily Show, and his name's Adam Chodakoff. And he knows everything about everything. And he's the one that's like, he comes in every morning, he's like, pull a clip on fucking Trump in Korea. Oliver characterized with, him as like superhuman. He's I, superhuman. I, I asked the same on the set of Community. I was like, how how does that happen when you catch a politician? Yeah. And in he a mentioned lie and like Yeah, he's he a said, genius. There's this guy. He's literally genius. It, he's, but and like the key is that the guy is like he's retaining enough. Yeah. Because you it wouldn't you could have all the equipment and all the hard drives in the world, but it wouldn't matter if you didn't when you heard the Democratic National right. Convention say something about taxes and you go. Okay, that thing that she just said, um, she said the opposite of that. I know right. she did. I only now have to go look for it, but to have it in your head. Yeah. Well, he was the guy in the room that John Stewart was like, that guy's as smart as I am. <laughs> you know, and he was like, Adam, am I right about this? And I'd be like, well, here's the thing. And he'd launch into this, like, you know, dissection of, um, this, of, of economic policy, and John would be like, got it. 
here's the joke. <laughs> and, you know, so he was just this resource and still is, I believe. Wow. I think he's still there. Yeah. But, like, like there's a, like, a recent bit on John Oliver's show uh, where they just cut to one of the Fox News uh, twats uh, saying the same thing a thousand times. But that means somebody had to watch that, like, every... Every episode of Fox News, the morning show, whatever it was, like just to collate all that, all that information, and to make a giant edited piece out of every iteration of that stupid thing that they do. Well, there's always somebody on every TV show that uh, cy- recycles the news and makes jokes about it uh, that watches TV for a living. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, on the Howard Stern show, it's uh, JD. You know, like he just his job is watching TV, and. Um, and these guys have this talent of, of, of doing what you said. Just, like just, just collecting and collecting find, finding and, patterns. And, and, then, and, know, and then, then there's a system of, um, of who to send it to to make it into jokes that somebody says. Part of that feels like the funnest job in the world. It's the watching part. But then I know I would, be, it, I would, so I would freak out because of the, the yeah. sense of responsibility that you, like, like when you read like a Sherlock Holmes story or like any of these like takeoffs where it's like, oh, the whole point is that like, while everyone else was thinking about Moriarty's Fucking <laughs> knife! I was noticing that the air freshener was this. That, yes. that it's the, the comedy it's, Sherlock. It's Holmes. the same part of the brain that makes you good at chess and stratego and all these and crosswords and things that I it, they freak me Man, out. Stratego is a fucking great game. <laughs> stratego is a good game. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you, it's I, really fun though, right? I don't, I don't. All I know about Stratego is that it's like uh, the people that like Risk are like yikes. Oh, I like the spy. I think is the spy part of it. Yeah, the bomb. Yeah, the bomb. Oh, the bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb. Oh my god, that game fucking rocks. Yeah. Strategy freaks me out. Like, I because I just always feel like I get burnt in strategy. Oh, that's all I. I can't play games. I'm not good at games until I know the strategy. Yeah, and then my then I fuck with my kids. <laughs> I'm at my I'm at my worst when I'm thinking a move or more ahead. Yeah. Oh, it takes like, me a while. I'm really <laughs> shitty. I'm also at games. not at my best when I'm not thinking ahead. But <laughs> I know you're like, is he giving himself credit for being a genius in the moment? Because, uh, but I'm just I'm just not the more. Yeah. I just it panics me. Like like I always like start it's like I think that consciously thinking about what what I'm supposed to be doing like fucks me up. And like, I'm I'm panicked until I figure that part of it out. And it's usually not that. Complicated. It's usually like, oh, I gotta go left when these guys go right. I guess you talk about the joy of like finding your bit and then you know what to go after, and then having like a well of like, like I I enjoy that sensation of like looking and like fucking around, and then you're like, wait, I know what the bit is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's It's like like it's what you're describing coming back with the remote pieces too. It's like you had to chart a course by some star. Right. You had to go out there and say, well, here's our angle. But what we're really going to do is an interview, and we'll make sure we have one thing in the can, and then you come back, and in the bay, you're kind of like, wait a minute, we've got a new angle. How many times did you guys then like fundamentally change the opener to the the remote piece? So, so that's really so we had a lot of fun zeroing in on that, you know that thing and then we'd come back like I said and it'd be wrong and then we'd have a lot of fun and edit zeroing in on it again and trying to figure it out. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Dan, real quick just to clarify, I think you uh, mistakenly called uh, Chris Boroff the audio guy. He's the he's the video. He was talking about audio. Oh, yeah. he's, 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 Chris is the live video director of Harmontown. Oh, yeah. I, I stripped out a channel or two from his. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's, he, uh, he, he's he's the live editing. I mean, he's director. the director. He's the he, director. He built of the, the camera show. mounts and all the stuff, and he's the he's the editor of the video. Did person. they say that in some kind of headset? That you yeah, that was like yeah, two hours ago. Did you just get like a? So really, hey the Jeff, you're the comptroller. The... No, he said he's. <laughs> Zach and Chris pointed that out via text just now. Yeah, he texted me, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't get a text <laughs> from anybody. Fuck and now he's the pre- now he's produ- now he's the producer at Game Grump, so we got that all. Sorted <laughs> all right, out. all right. Well, and ma- and we're promoting Zach to head of texting. All right. Yeah. So. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I would say uh, being that that diminished by Harmontown is the equivalent of swinging three <laughs> podcast bats. That's a great before, analogy, you see, right? That's a great analogy. I mean, it's like I, at least Chris Bruff gets to, like is back there packing his bag and going, "I left at the right place." <laughs> 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 they don't even know what I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> Great timing. They mi- they missed like like oh, half of what I do. I, it's I the wanna, big half. It's also, your eyeballs. It's the biggest half. I, I think <laughs> we should also give a big shout out to Zach McKeever for craft services. Nobody makes a peanut butter sandwich like Zach McKeever <laughs> on craft service backstage. That's oh, all he yeah. does is make sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> Your mic, your mic, the, the that that your your feed is just racist uh, quotes from Hitler. Now <laughs> he just swapped you it just, out. You just threw the kettle one cap on the ground like I didn't a throw it. Man. I dropped it because I'm drunk. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Google, Google alcohol. Google uh, drunk. Uh, uh, Siri, uh, what is alcoholism? Uh, anybody noticing Siri getting more aggressive at all? <laughs> yes. Or is, it, or is it just that I'm festooned with eye devices as no, I get she older? She always answers you when you're not talking to I was to in her. the writer's room uh, two days ago and I was like stammering through some explanation of like, because I'm like this, it's like uh, it's like that, it's like this. Remember when Pete Holmes did his impression of me? Like, like, like where, where, where I was like trying to ask him a question and he was like, what are you at? And I'm like, well, what? no, you know what I'm asking. He's like, well, I think you might be going, eh, but then he kind of like, <laughs> like, ser- like I, if I say anything close to Siri in the midst of talking in the writer's room like every once in a while like this my watch or my phone will cut me off halfway through and it's this like woman in a tin can mocking me there's this going like I don't know what you're talking about uh, well not it's no just like it's like she thinks I can't find the answer to that it's, she's Harmon. reading back to the what I heard was I think it's like this but logistically it should be that but from a standpoint of internal logic it's more like that but what we should do is break the rules before we define them because the in truth like maybe define Finding them well, it's not to say this. Is that what you meant? <laughs> and all the writers are like, "She nailed you." <laughs> like we can get fired, but that bitch got you down. I, I'll, I'll do the thing if I'm in the car and I'll go uh, like, "Tell Bill Davis, my brother, like, tell Bill Davis that I'll be over at 11:30." And I'll, I'll cough or something. I go, I go "Tell Bill Davis, <clears throat> fuck shit." <laughs> and she goes, mm, "Sounds interesting." <laughs> Like, what? what are we fucking a couple? Like, like uh, give me a break. These are the worst. Like, they're, they're, get out of my life. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna talk to you. I never ask her anything. I'm never gonna. I'm yeah. I'm not doing it. Like, why did baby boomers take to that? Why are they so into is it that? Just them? Yeah. Just, Why did really? it like skip? Is it going to skip a generation? Is it just like because like you know text from your mom to just now have this like like like, like oh my, my, God, my like, mother's text? It's because they're, 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 they're now there and then they'll just, they're, they'll just be like like what are you are you a beat poet or <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Yeah. If uh, your father's doing fine, his glaucoma is axing up. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, barf, barf, uh, 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 Pluto, Nash, uh, like, 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 and, and, and then, and then at the end, she's like, "Sorry, Pluto, I'm using Pluto Siri." Nash. Pluto, that's right, Pluto, Nash. <laughs> I'm like, you're having this con- this entire conversation with me, which I actually regard as somewhat intimate because it's with my mom, but you're at like Sam's Club barking into the, like, like and another thing about, well, like, and the phone's just getting a little bit of it wrong, but you're like, fuck it, send it. Who cares? It's just a son. Yeah, she makes no, my mother makes no effort to correct anything. Uh, yeah, well, what does it pull down a year having, having him for a kid? Whatever, like, I... I, I finished my job when he didn't get polio. <laughs> yeah. Like he's, he's over 18. Fuck him. Send him the jarbled text. <laughs> the I got, I got text. medical bills to save up for. <laughs> I don't give a shit what he reads. Let him, let him judge me in my... F- well, I'm fucking six feet under. I'll be laughing up dirt. <laughs> <laughs> laughing up dirt? <laughs> That's the name of the episode. I hope so. <laughs> I like problematization. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good I couldn't, one. I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it <laughs> all the way out. Uh, have you talked to the? Uh, have you talked to the mom and dad recently? How? Uh, how? How? Not kind of really. Are I told you my niece is a uh, violinist, and uh, and that she's uh, from Bones. Yeah, but she's uh, like like she's. Uh, She's going. She's your uh, daughter's age, I believe. Oh, I think she's like thirteen, and she's. Uh, but she's, she's like a violin. Maybe the word prodigy. I don't know. But she, like, she's been asked to be in the Milwaukee Symphony uh, twice. Wow. Uh, the Whoa. Milwaukee. No, I'm sorry. Milwaukee Children's Symphony. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I mean, have you heard the? 
Milwaukee Symphony. It's like the it's like the it's like the college. It's all the Hollywood yeah, failures. Yeah. That just go right to it's Milwaukee all, Symphony. It's all like showrunners. <laughs> just lazy people on the tube. Whoop whoop. I paid my dues in the children's Off symphony. Off to Milwaukee. Boop, burp, burp. <laughs> yeah, it's just old people from from the Boston Symphony. That's right. From the pops. Uh uh, when all, all of our zoo employees are just people that, that were working in San Diego and got drunk and woke up in the tiger cage. <laughs> they failed zoo employees from <laughs> San Diego. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I hope you're listening to Milwaukee, you fucking piece yeah, of you shit. Fucking <laughs> you the fucking assholes. The, the truth or the, pro- or the propaganda is that Milwaukee is very... Pro- I've, it's, it has a great uh, zoo for a city of its size and a great Fuck symphony, you, too. Man. But I don't know. I think every hometown, like... Ha- like, like, like yeah, pre- people are always proud of their zoos. I don't think... I don't think... <laughs> right? Is it, I mean, yeah. is, I there, so. is there any, is there any city that's zoo. like... Don't hey, be proud hey, of a zoo or an aquarium. Zoos suck, they're, they're, they're fucking They're fucking animal jail. Yeah. The fucking bullshit. Like fuck a, yeah. Aquariums. Yeah, and there's better jails than some. Like there's there's. It's important for jails to be to 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 be fucking well tended. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for f- <laughs> spiking my football spiking. in your end zone, which is a touchdown for me, right? Yep. <laughs> yes. Keep going. And I and thank you for swinging three balls. Great uh, baseball metaphor. Oh. oh, I'll swing three balls, baby. <laughs> I'm swinging at least two right now. <laughs> I do think that having been to the goddamn uh, Los Angeles Zoo, no, that's fucking county jail. The Milwaukee oh, Public shit. Zoo is. No. Do you remember when a P twenty P one twenty nine or something like ate a koala? What? Okay. <laughs> Listen to this. Shit. Is that a wait, public wait, school? Wh- they no, ate a koala. P, I think it's named P one twenty nine. Is a fucking mountain, a mountain lion, lion. <laughs> that lives in Griffith Park. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. And it, so my daughter. It got tired she was of being like, a number. She was seven, right? And she came home and she was like, hey, hey, daddy, P129 ate a koala bear. And I was like, what's P129 or whatever? And she's like, it's a mountain lion. And it stole into the zoo. And ate it, a few she, she, she didn't, soul she didn't say that. <laughs> she <laughs> she's, she, 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 she's not a poet. Charles Dickens. <laughs> you're, you're, I'm a, I'm, I'm, yes, your daughter is P.G. Wodehouse. I'm punching up her shit. <laughs> I'm punching it up. <laughs> she needs a little punch up. I you used say, to be on The Daily Show. Now you're doing punch up for a I seven year old. Way, I tell stories way better than she does. <laughs> And she's like, he patted across the maze. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so anyway, the day she was at dashed the to zoo, bits. For the koala was dashed fairly to bits. And forthwith, <laughs> <laughs> disposed of a koala bear. Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, fucking mountain lion. Basically, what my daughter was saying is a fucking mountain Wait, lion. Wait, so the mountain lion broke into the zoo and ate a koala? The night before she went on her field trip to the <laughs> zoo. Right. And me and my wife were like, no way. Uh, and yeah, way. Because your daughter's filled with lies most of the time. I'm not, I'm not going to say she's not. Hey, I don't you're know. talking about a Rick and Morty fan. Oh, uh, well, no, that's the youngest one. She's not allowed to watch Rick and Morty yet. Oh, I, I thought this was a story from so long ago that your 13 year old was seven. No, this is my story. other daughter who really so dying P- to watch Rick and Morty. So P128 just recently P-128. ate a koala. Are koala. you looking it up? No, but I, you reminded me of a thing I need to look up on, on, yeah. on next door. So P128 ate a fucking oh, koala shit. bear. I mean, this is a long Wait, so way he, of he, going. The, the, the mountain lion came out of Griffith Park. Yes. And went, Jumped. And went into the zoo. A koala fence. Ate a koala. Yep. Delicious, delicious koala. And then just boned out. And the thing about L.A. is they're like, well, that's nature. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. Fuck yeah, it is. Like, like for, that, for that mountain lion, a, zoo, a zoo's like Trader Joe's? Absolutely. <laughs> and all we can do is tag it. They tag it now. They've tagged it, and they're yeah. just watching it. Yeah. They're like, well, it's not going to eat more koalas, but we're not going to kill it. It's right. like... um. Yeah, let it. Yeah, let it prowl. F- fuck you, don't know, fuck koalas. Griffith Park, just don't go into also, that aren't park. Also, are koalas supposed to be assholes? They're supposed, they're supposed to be really unfriendly and like kind no, of. No, koalas like, suck. Yeah. Well, yeah. come on, they don't no, suck. They're as, violent. They're no, violent. No kid. animal deserves to be just look locked cute. up and then like the the, 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 the like the like, hey good day here's your eucalyptus see you tomorrow <laughs> it's the, it's the freshest eucalyptus from Milwaukee uh, uh, <laughs> wherever this fucking thing is and then like uh, I, I do like Milwaukee eucalyptus and then it's, and then I like. Know. Okay, lights out! Hey, koalas, lights out! <laughs> and they're like, psh, psh. Oi, mate. Hey, 
oh, you're new here, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, sorry. You, you're the, yeah, you're I'll the, be other, the other. I'll okay. be the new koala. Yeah. Uh, I don't do a very good Australian accent. Listen, but here I go. You can save me uh, ten, ten yukis. Yeah. Uh, I bet that you wouldn't be the first to cry. So Listen, try to suck it up. Are you? Ch- <laughs> are you trying to fuck me? <laughs> no, mate. I'm welcoming you to like a, a horrible uh, new lifestyle. I was told. I was. T- this is no. <laughs> my, uh, my accent's You're right. doing great. I was You're doing told. Great. I was then, told. The, but then the mountain lion. The mountain lion. Well, wait, wait, wait. Well, that's what I'm building to. Okay, if gotcha. you please, because right. that's oh, okay. the fucking worst. Yeah. That no animal deserves this tragic irony. That it's like, <laughs> oh, just, just take it easy, mate. Like, All right. look. I was you, just gonna fuck up the largest koala in here, <laughs> but now listen here instead. You can do that. Just remember, you're in here for keeps, and you're never getting out, and. Like they control everything, yeah. Um, but <laughs> it beats being in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you did you say something? Wait, did you hear that? Uh, uh, well, I, I, I'm not familiar with that sand. Wait, did you? It's oh not... Jesus! Oh fuck! Oh, there's fuck. a fucking wild animal. It's a fucking man. They have wild mate. animals. Why? 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 Can't we be there? This is why I left the bush. They mate. told us when they put us in the crate that the whole point was they didn't have wildlife. I, I thought this is oh, 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 Hello, I'm the mountain lion. I, oh. I'm sorry I stole into your 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 <laughs> oh your oh, enclave. I was different. So I, I, I didn't mean to steal into your your, your habitats. I was wrong about I, this I, fella. I, I, I'd, be, I'd be mighty chuffed if I could nibble on one of you. <laughs> I say that's good koala. That's like, like like one of those horror movies where it's like the zombie apocalypse is happening, and they, they, they you know if they really want to hurt your feelings, like they'll cut to like the local jail or whatever, and it's just like, hey, let me out, and it's like, fuck, <laughs> god damn it, like like that sucks, like like yeah. it already sucked to be human in the apocalypse, and then there's like meanwhile where it's <laughs> illegal to have more than a pot of weed. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I, I measure weed in pots, right? I would right? say that that's that's not very sportsmanlike of the of the mountain lion to go eat a a, a jailed well, koala li- bear. That mountain's gonna lion, you know. But like, I'm it's it's M- not sportsmanlike. Lie, 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 lie. It's not sportsmanlike of a zoo to be like, here you go. You're not allowed to do anything naturally koala-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Don't no no stay exactly where you are. Where I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. Where and, and then it's just like, wow. <laughs> like, you stay here in this not yeah. mountain lion proof cell. Yeah, and, yeah. and the koalas, the koalas can't unionize and and say, can we make yeah. the fence mountain lion tall? Yeah, yeah, not coming out today, fuck. Get face. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and B one twenty is it, able to jump yes. out. This Ooh. is not this is not fair, Dinkum. Yeah, not fair, Dinkum. <laughs> Aye? Oi? Aye? Aye? Do not like your hat, mate. The zookeeper hat you're wearing, mate. Don't like your hat, mate. God, you got you got this fucking locked down. You're fucking. You're, you're in the accent. zone. Okay, right so now. my dog's gotten a skunk battle. Like, so uh, after that last week, we were celebrating the week anniversary of the front porch massacre. Cody thought I was coming home from the show. I, like she, she like like she thought she was so like she, she thought she was timing it right. So when the dog started barking, she assumed it was me coming up the front walk. She flings open the front door. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. All the dogs coming out. Barbara, Harvey, Nigel. They're gonna like run out, and we love being a family and a pack. And Barbara, <sighs> that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara's great. Go uh, ahead. Well, Barbara's. She's well, great. I won't say she's great. But she's great. She's I. I mean, <laughs> you can't name a dog. Barbara. I love Barbara. She's my. She's my daughter. Like, uh, like she's the yeah, one. Barbara's I got. a little much. Um, she. Uh, she so they, the, the dogs go flying out the front door, but it's not me rolling up. It's a. It's a skunk, and uh, and, and and so it's Harvey runs out and is like, "What's up?" And the skunk is like, Psst, and Harvey's like, bah! and then Barbara's like. Even though Barbara hates Harvey and constantly like nips at him when they're feeding and like 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 Barbara's like constant like it's just it's just ironic that this is now a time for sibling support that she's like why you spray my brother and like die like runs in grabs the skunk and it's like Marrah! and it's like spraying ever it's like I I got one move one move 
and Nigel's like, I've been through this six times. I think I'm supposed to hang back. And, and Cody's like, Barbara, let go. And Barbara lets go. And the skunk goes, by her account, limping away and then looks back at Nigel, who's just like watching it and goes, Psh! And, <laughs> because it's had enough and, and of this yard and just like limps away. And, uh, and uh, Cody gets all of the uh, uh, pack into the fucking house, which still stinks. And it's a nightmare and all this stuff. So then two days later, this post on Nextdoor app. Because the internet doesn't let anything happen anymore with uh, like it, 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 it we this is we're not going to survive it's all content baby we, we are all connected now there is no escape like and and the the bad i think outweighs the good of a purely connected society like i i we're, we're on the next door app so we saw this post injured baby skunk oh, fuck you I saw an injured baby skunk whilst. Whilst? Whilst! All right, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Well, now you That's, know. Th this sounds like some Milwaukee shit right now. Now you know why this person's into skunks. I, I, whilst walking on my neighborhood at whilst. around 7 p.m., it was dragging its back legs. Not limp, it was like, oh. oh fuck you. Don't mourn this skunk. Possibly hit by a car. A <laughs> You keep thinking that. <laughs> it made its way into someone's garden, so I hurriedly got on the internet in search of a place to help rescue it. I called Humane Society in Glendale as it is supposed to be open 24-7 to get an answering machine, which says, we do not rescue animals. Call the Pasadena office. Well, it was closed at 7 p.m. I then called around every animal rescue of friends of animals, vets, etc., to find them all closed. It's pathetic that it is so hard to find help for a sick or injured animal. <laughs> I lived in a small town in another state where there is always a place oh, to find help without just euthanizing an animal here in distress. Go. I realize that sometimes an animal is so badly injured that it can be the only thing you can do, but at least we can try to if save I can a make life one person possible die, without talking, be this taking person. the easy way out. I am really disappointed that in a city as big as LA, it's so hard to find some organization to help. I went back with water for the little skunk and could not find it, and it was getting dark. I am really angry and frustrated right now. Send. <laughs> Send? I don't know. I understand all of those feelings, I, except for the when clicking of the scent. Need to when, when, this. Let that one sit. When the skunk goes, is not... When she goes into the biography portion of it, I was born in a small town. Yeah. You don't picture this as a dude? Huh? You said she. I, I, I pictured I, it as I, a dude. I, I, it's funny how reason. I immediately pictured this as a guy. Cause I, uh, but, but, you know, now, now that I'm, I'm proud of myself for picturing it as a guy, but, <laughs> but it's because I don't like them and part of that is that i feel terrible because i'm like <laughs> just like they're describing the wake of a fucking horrible war machine that yeah <laughs> Uh, like, 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 I, it, it, but so I want this person to be a bad person. I don't it's not a. This person doesn't have empathy for the little skunk. This person's like, oh, these fucking neighbors are gonna love me after this. I can't believe this Yelp, this report. Yelp review about like yeah. uh, their relationship with doing nothing. They've they accomplished nothing. Hey, do you know? Do you have a um a ring doorbell? Uh, oh, I have a, I got a new thing. It's a doorbell unlocks the front door. Well, well. Oh, yeah. that's right. There's no camera right. necessary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 you, a, you, you, a ring, you ring his doorbell and he goes, come in. Yeah. yeah. Well, ring, ring door, ring whatever has this, I think it's kind of perfected and fucked up neighborhood, what, next door neighborhood. Right. Whatever it is. Because it's basically ring, does anybody know about this? Like ring neighborhood? So basically, it's just pictures of people sneaking into their yard or like trying to find a key on top of the door jam and then seeing there's a ring and like, oh, fuck, and they run away. And that gets posted to Ring Neighborhood. Right. And everybody's like, oh, Jesus, that's awesome. It's a fat black and white nighttime photo of this <laughs> criminal. <laughs> but then also every once in a while, there's just this kid. It's like a black kid trying to sell candy. Right. Right. And yeah, <laughs> right. And people are like, ah, oh, I've never seen this fella around the neighborhood before. Looks like he's casing. What's he got in that box? <laughs> yeah, what's he's casing he got my house. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's at least nobody's like talking about their 
fucking little skunks. Everybody's, yeah. uh, you know, it's just pictures of criminals and that's the only the people only, being mistaken. The, as criminals. O- the only like, if, if someone knocks on my door, I'm instantly upset. Like, I, I think it goes back. Yeah, to, right. I think they're all criminals. Anybody that knocks on my door is a criminal. Like, if, I, I don't care if you're UPS or, or or whatever the fuck. But if you knock on my door, it take it harkens back to the, the time when I was broke, and, and that, that might be the sheriff coming to evict me. Like, like, like so, like the, the mailbox and the knock on the door is always the enemy. Yeah. Even if I've ordered food and and I know that someone's gonna come, the knock on the door, <laughs> I I instinctively look for my shoes. Yeah, because there was a time when I literally had to like think about like going out the back, like the back exit, and <laughs> so fuck you for knocking on doors. But if you're gonna knock on my door, have chocolate. Yeah. If, if 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 the little kid comes up with Hell the fucking yeah. box full of chocolate, it's pretty good chocolate. They got the almonds in there, and you or and I, I don't care, I don't care what it's for. They, 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 they say it's they're gonna get a, they're gonna get a trip somewhere. I don't give a fuck. But if you're gonna knock on my door, candy, Bit bring candy. me some goddamn chocolate with some almonds in it. I will always buy that. I will buy the whole goddamn box. Yeah, I I told I told the story on this podcast about like like the first year in my house like I, the weirdest encounter that I still think about all the time and I'm like, it, like this guy that looked so much like Kevin James like just picture <laughs> Kevin James, he had a baseball hat on and he just looked like Kevin James just Yuck. picture that he right. rang my doorbell and like he was like hey um hey I'm so and so and uh, I'm such and such and I thought that and he kind of like he ran he rattled off the stuff and I'm just like you know I'm in full I'm already I'm just in like stranger on my porch mode like I don't like and so I'm not absorbing what he's explaining which is that he's related to one of my neighbors and that his mother-in-law's grandma's sister is the one that walks the poodles from time to time and like I'm just giving him this blank look because I'm like what what's happening and like it this sets the tone for the whole conversation that like he sees this blank look and he in it it, 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 it it seems like in his mind he's done so much explaining about who he is and I've I've given him nothing in return that he just <laughs> he just gets this look on his face like never mind so anyways and then he continues with this pitch about like kids in a soccer league and they're like playing soccer and they're going to go to Italy and play soccer and all the kids in the local school and all these things are going to play play soccer and and they need money and they're raising money and they're fundraising and I'm like I'm just like like wow man like if you come knock on my door like like if you're lucky if I'm high like I, I like like you're you're unlucky if I'm like in the middle of a movie like like I, I don't it's just like you're at someone's house but I'm and so I'm just like I'm not I was like how do I what do I do what do you want and I'm like I reach in my pocket and I like unwad like a five dollar bill <laughs> and I, in my head I'm thinking like Harmon you're crazy this guy's a panhandler and he's like gonna get five bucks like if you saw him on the street you wouldn't give five dollar bills away like you're just you're just engaging in this weird like suburban privilege thing because the guy looks like kevin james and while i'm thinking that the guy is looking at the five dollar bill like i'm producing an aids needle and and, and like offering it to him and 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 i'm like I, you know well i'll tell you what i just uh i this is what i got in my pocket right now i'm kind of in the middle of uh probably disappointing some studio on a, what a draft or something. you're probably watching pluto nash and uh uh, and 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 he's like he doesn't take the five dollars. He's 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 like okay okay no no. I mean usually what we're talking about is something more like 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 you know like in the in the neighborhood of something if you have a checkbook or a thing. What? Uh, thing, and, I, oh, and, I, and I'm like I just go, took a turn. Yeah, and I go like oh I don't have a checkbook in the house and like uh, and he's like you know what I I, I don't I don't I, it's, you know what you, 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 like 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 whatever it's so fine it's like I come over here you're pulling out like five dollars out of your pocket and I was like I, I just like what whatever and he like walks away. I'm I'm just shell shocked, and, and I'm like standing there on the porch, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, I like like walk out like as he's walking away because you've got to like walk down all these like DreamWorks flagstone steps out of my place. He, he can't just like disappear into a bush. It's like he just had this like weird thing with me, and now he had, I'm just walking a football field, and I, and I I'm like I'm like are are you a psychopath? Said something like, it's like, like what, are, "What are you a fucking psycho or something?" Like I, I was like genuinely curious. Like I was like, "I was like, what was this?" So I can tell my friends. And and he turns around. And he's Kevin James. He's wearing cargo shorts, a white baseball cap, and but he does this move where he turns around while he's storming away and 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 raises his arms out and he goes like, "I don't know, man. You know, everybody has a checkbook in their house, sir." And, he, and then he just like walks away, and what I'm like, the fuck? "What the fuck? That's definitely not true for me. I, I, I'm sure it's true for everybody you've 
fucking gotten to pay for your friend's soccer? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, you, you can't, this is the big house on the hill, baby. <laughs> I pay people to count my money. I don't even. I, I might be broke right now. That's how rich I am. I don't got no check checkbook. Oh yeah, it's That's right so over here by I my coupons. Let me get my coupons and my checkbook. That's fucking poor people's shit. I'm not gonna get out a pen and write about money on a. Whoa, to whom it may concern, can I have some wait, Ben Gay? Fuck wait, you. Did you just I'm say I'm not gonna Batman? Get bitch. out of pen and write about money? Yeah, that's what a check is, right? Like, oh, here's some money I hope I have. Well, signed Shirley. Oh, what's the date again? I don't know. Like, what's a part of time? Like, fuck you. I, I'm like, I, 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 when I learned about that shit in home ec in, in, in middle school, I'm like, no. okay, well, how much money do you have to pay to get, get rid of No, I'm not balancing no check. I'm not keeping a diary about my money. This is fucking <laughs> Wilma Flintstone shit. Uh, my mom, my mom, you know what? You know, I'm on a little tear here. My mom, my mom, my mom would be like, you got to learn to tell time. Like, I'm like, what the fucking things with the, the needles? Like, no, man, there's a clock on the stove. And she's like, that's a digital clock. It's different. I'm like, bitch, do you think the, the vo- what kind of clock do you think every is going to be everywhere? <laughs> bitch, please. You think people are, oh yeah, the people, we invented the stove clock that says 803, bitch. And you don't gotta subtract and eat shit and multiply times five. What is this fucking Archimedes shit on the wall with a fucking cat's eyes going click clock? Dude, I gotta work it out. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Here's a hint about what time it is. Five times five minus 13. Fuck you. I'm gonna be rich in the future. My car's gonna drive itself. I'm not even gonna have to steer. I can't believe your parents beat you. They did it first. Then I got surly. I think, I don't think actually you're making me think. But I was right mom, about a lot of that. You keep calling your mom bitch in the kitchen. You're going to get fucking... I know. You're gonna get you deserve to get your I ass kicked. I was being hyperbolic. I never called my mom bitch. I mean, except Did you really not have a there. checkbook in your house? No, I didn't. I mean, I might have had one, like, packed away with, like, the fucking sure if I have commemorative either. Princess Di shot glasses that my, my ex-wife bought on, on, on the, uh, from it. Like, if I had I, checkbooks I, in that I, house, I, I they were, a, like... I have a checkbook. It's, it's lasted me for years, but I still have one. Like, and I, once in a while... Hey, well, you agree with this guy. Everybody's got... You just got a fucking... Woo. And I'm like, yeah, not for you, Kevin James. It's, like... You know, you know what you do though? If you if you like, let's say like you like you like loan, loan loan a friend like fifty bucks or you know whatever like and you, and you write your friend a personal check or whoever it is, no matter what it is, the gas company, whatever you got to do to write it, if you have to write a check, in the note section, I think people neglect the note section, yeah. and every time, no matter who it is, business related, friendly, whatever, in the notes, erotic cakes. <laughs> right. I always just put drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, one time, David Butler, our, our business manager accountant, who we just saw today, uh, he said, like, hey, uh, hey, Jeff, um, did, you, did you spend $800 on erotic cakes? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. my job here yes, is done. Yes, I did. <laughs> that shit will get held up on Venmo or whatever it is now, right? Like, uh, you, if you put a little memo in a Venmo payment. I don't have Venmo yet, so I don't know. So one of the writers was telling me... Everybody's she, got Venmo, man. She paid her therapist. <laughs> uh, she wrote something funny in the therapy section. It was like... I think it was a reference to what she talked about in the therapy section, which, which, session, which also happened to allude to, like, explosives or something. It was like... And Uh-oh. they held her check up because it was like the memo, which, as long as I've lived, is always where the joke goes. <laughs> She put a joke, but oh, now that shit. we're in the fucking new new digital world, the memo matters. They like held her check because she might have been ISIS. Because ISIS lo- is like so into like clean bookkeeping. They're like, yeah. well, it's, it's, it's for explosives. Just put the explosives. Yeah, you know how like signatures. This is how Al Qaeda failed. It's got it, they you got can, them on the fucking bookkeeping. On your email, you can set a signature. Just every email you send is the same signature. On Venmo, my memo that I sent is just kill the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so far, so good. It, I haven't uh, been it, caught yet. Nobody's, I guess they don't, uh, yeah. Nobody's I mean, 
ringing I my believe, doorbell. I, I'm, I'm not sure in. if it's still true, but I think David Cross, you know, you, when you incorporate, you can name your corporation whatever you want. Do you, do you have a funny name I for do. Your? No, I don't. Oh. I, it's not funny. It's uh, just a name. But I, I believe... It's the Cordry Company. That, that, that David Cross is, is uh, the Jew-run media. <laughs> So That's every time good. he writes himself a check from his corporation, he's being paid by the Jew run media. That's really good. <laughs> I really blew it. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I regret my calling it just Cordry Company. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Why did it have to be a baby skunk? <laughs> by the way, what does this guy know about skunk ages? Well, I can't believe he came back with water. <laughs> my trainer... How does a baby Klein, skunk... I like, I like the... the uh, he, he or she surmises that it's a been, it's a car accident, oh, like 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 if a baby well, skunk what, gets what hit by a car. Assume? Listen, yeah. fuck skunks, fuck sharks, fuck bears, and fuck mosquitoes. Yeah, let's just wipe them all off the Kill planet. Kill them all. <laughs> I like <laughs> bears. Probably, but skunks skunks are adorable. Bears, I don't mind. Okay, okay, all right, all right. S- skunks are adorable, but they but they will fuck up your life. Like, like if they if they decide yeah, to do it, probably a value. There was a family part of, of skunks ecosystem. that used to live like right in my street, and once in a while they would, I would just come home late at night. And there'd be a family of skunks on my doorstep, and it's just a standoff. Yeah, because like I'm like I'm like I I, yes. I I I have to go to a hotel tonight. Because it's fucking, when I used to I used to smoke, and I would be sitting in my driveway smoking, and I'd feel like a a little tongue or a nose on the back of my shin, and I look down as a fucking skunk. What? It's like sniffing my That's, the back of my leg. Your neighbor's feeding them, and I would. Yeah, That's probably. That's what that means. That's and how I would you learned that. Jump a million years away, from, and then it sprays you for jumping. Yeah. Right? Oh, you talked about in an earlier show a uh, coyote in your yeah. yard, right? Yeah, they were back last night. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, so this is one of those shows where I was I was I was walking and I was listening and I was like talking to you through the my <laughs> ear my AirPods or whatever they are cuz yeah, I can afford those, man. <laughs> um and I was like I was like, "No, you got to haze the coyote." Yeah. You gotta them, yeah. haze them. Otherwise, they'll die. And I, you got, yeah. Like, nobody's gonna come and get rid of that coyote. What do you mean, haze a coyote? I had a coyote. You gotta, like, 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 you you gotta, 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 you and then, yeah, they go through a pledging period. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coyote, like, comes to you. It's like, I'm all strung out. That's brother. You've got to call well, me brother before you yeah. say you're strung <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyway, wait, throw oh, rocks air, at wait, coyotes. Wait, AirPod, I want to say one thing. For cr- cr- Christmas, I, had a, I, was, I was a high enough tier on the FX uh, uh, gift list that I got um, Air. Pods for that. Like, you like, got gifted AirPods. FX yeah. AirPods, and, it, and it says FX on the little case. I'm like, wow, cool AirPods. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, like I have some of these. People make fun of you when you wear them, but whatever. Who and cares? I like they're, I opened I opened it up and pulled them out, and I, um, they branded. You know, it said FX on the case, and then on, I can't wear those on each fucking. Uh, Was it Michael Chiklis? On each little thing that sticks out of your ears. <laughs> It doesn't say FX. It just says their their one word slogan, which you definitely want on your AirPods. Fearless. Oh. Yeah, that's. I just thought it was so funny. It was like, oh, FX. You no, like you just did, you did, like, you just you ruined made, a good pair yeah, of AirPods. Yeah, you made AirPods unwearable. <laughs> like like I'm already like I'm already in the crosshairs of. Of the of the of the of the of the commoner yeah, walking down the sidewalk to judge here. Me. It's gonna say fearless in the little cigarette butts coming out of my ears. Yeah, yeah what's no up? Way. Okay, so anyways, can I get a double butterscotch? Uh... <laughs> Sir, this is a tire shop. I've got the uh, a- a- HBO. HBO sent me some to say Chernobyl. <laughs> Uh, I wear those. Uh, yeah, you gotta. <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm getting out of this house. I feel like it's trying to claim my soul. It's like it's like infecting my bladder. It's sending coyotes and bees. Like it's sent yeah, horrible bees, electronics too. people that are making rape friendly doorbells. Like I, it's it's like it feels yeah, like you the house is there. saying get out of here. And then but now Barbara's eating like those fucking palm pits. If the dogs are puking everywhere, it's like like we gotta get these dogs out of here. Is your house haunted? It's haunted by just shitty house. Like, there's oh. no ghost. It would be cool if there was, like, a... But the house is yeah. saying, get the fuck out. Yeah. It, it, it's saying, like... I think the house I, is saying, it's, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I can't wait. I, I, I just keep fantasizing about the t- dumb shit that buys my house. But you got a pool at the new crib, right? Yeah. Can I, can I hang out at that pool? I don't know. Do you want to uh, believe I'm a pool person? You'll never go in that pool, right? I don't think Jeff was there for that episode. <laughs> what happened? I yeah, mean, see, yes, I don't think you Jeff can. Was there. Yes, you can come in the pool. I want to hang out at the pool. Well, of course. Like, what you do you think you pools? get a pool for? You know, so you don't I, invite your I, friends? I, I think it's finally time at forty-five. You probably go into pools. Oh, I'll, I'm the first one in and the last one yeah. out, baby. I can't go. You, in there. you see my tan? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, my, sure. my rich, deep Lorenzo Lamas yeah. oily tan. <laughs> Did I tell you guys about my therapist? I've been seeing a therapist. No. He, uh, he thinks I should get a haircut. So this is the therapist that told wait. me to cut my beard. <laughs> and now he thinks I should get a haircut. Wait, wait, wait. What, what the fuck is his problem? That's the thing. Is I keep telling like, people. You should get a therapy degree. Yeah, that's what I like, was going to say. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you should start wearing a suit. You should get a clipboard. And yeah. start asking people how they you feel. start writing things down. <laughs> yeah, I was you like, should not this should somebody pay rent in this office. <laughs> yeah. See ya. He runs. Yeah, you should start well, pl- see that I could get on board for. That'd be great. <laughs> you should start playing highlight. <laughs> it's just very weird. And every time I tell people about that, they're like, that sounds wrong. And I'm like, I know, right? Why, why is he weighing in on your, on your like, style? Well, he just kind of like, I go in there and he's like, so what's new? And I'm like, oh, you know, I've been depressed. And he's like, well, you look like shit. <laughs> Maybe get a haircut, yes. hippie. <laughs> Who do I make what the check out to? Right, exactly. It's great. It's a lot of fun. He, sound, he sounds like he's, uh, he's really nailing it. Yeah, you got to get out of there. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to see like 20 therapists before you find one you like. Yeah, but yeah. where do you even find one? You well, know? I don't know. You just yeah, keep, you got to keep going. Just right? keep, like just keep gotta... stumbling into them. I want to go know? to a therapist to ask him about my therapist. <laughs> like, feel like, hey, he tells <laughs> me to get a haircut. How, what do you think about that? <laughs> It would be fair, you know, because all therapists, they see therapists. They, right. we, we learned that in The Sopranos, and it's true. Like, they all have therapists. And uh, 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 it, I think it, should, it would be fair. Like, we should all get to have one session a month with our therapist therapist. Yeah. <laughs> Where we're like, what's up with Linda? And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? I'm like, well, she's usually asking me stuff. And I was like, uh, <laughs> look. If you've ever heard her complain about her mom, let me explain a couple things about that. And then yeah. you just sort of like, like put it in perspective, man. He also said I don't make enough eye contact. Oh, God. I I'm mean, making more eye contact, oh. though. It's a lot of fun. It's like a video game. It's like Stardew Valley. It's, it's like, like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, the people. hearts are going up. I feel like when I make I eye contact with people, I'm hurting to the dance. That, like I'm going to kill them. Like I, like, I don't want to stare into people's eyes. That's the thing, is that one time I called him, I was like, well, do you think if I went to another therapist, they'd tell me to get a haircut? And I fucking maintained unbroken, <laughs> unblinking eye contact. Yeah. Like you're doing for with like me right now? like five minutes while I was watching him answer. I was like, right, this is why I don't like eye contact, because it's inherently aggressive. This is what predators do to prey. That yeah. they're gonna murder. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm super comfortable doing it in this context because I want to kill you right now. <laughs> yeah. It is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah humans have de- defenses for a reason. Yeah. Well, it's just we're being right. assaulted constantly, assaulted with people's eyes on us. Contact. Yeah, I don't look at people because oh, I, it's that. a favor to them. I'm right. Like, exactly. Uh, I'm like Cyclops. And I'm, I'm like, always I don't like make this. Me melt I'm folding you. my arms in front of me like I'm like it's armor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the other. When I go into the therapy, I'm like this. I'm like. <laughs> and he asked why I did that, and I was like, "Well, I don't want to close off my body posture and have yeah. you read into me closing off my body posture." Oh, yeah. so this is such a I'm exhausted. Well, that is, so my therapist too. She's like, it's it is like it's, it's like Ugh, eye contact and, and 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 open your body up, but like I feel like I kind of like I kind of more like the eye contact thing. I'm like, but also I don't like, like looking whatever. at ugly people, yeah. so I don't want to make eye contact with them. <laughs> well, I hear you know, that. like, why that would you want? Sense. That's just not fun. Nah, it's not you, fun for your, anyone. Is your therapist ugly? Oh yeah. All right. I, so like, why is he telling me to get therapist. Say that. Say that. Like, like yeah, I, I'd look at you if you were hot. When I was when I was Ooh. really young, um, I went to a therapist with my mom. Well, it was a psychiatrist. They were giving me drugs and stuff, and they were like, "I noticed you have your hands on your genitals. Do you want to talk about that?" And I was like, "My hands are in my lap." Like, what are you talking? What do I do with my hands? Oh, and shit. And since then, the past 20 years, you don't know what I'm to like, do what do hands? I do with my hands so that they're not in my lap, so they're not on my genitals? <laughs> I can't fit them in my pockets. I, like, sit like uh. this. 
Like I'm Jesus or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's oh, a lot of fun. Listen, no, I, I think it, uh, my hands are on my genitals. Your eyes are clearly on my genitals. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about that. See, that would have been a good comeback. Yeah, but yeah. The, the, the I already save up a lot of good comebacks for when I'm seeing my therapist. Yeah, it's... So uh, you're on the show. L'Esprit de Scalier, yeah. yeah. You always got a good one after the therapy session. I would de- yeah. Unless you followed that up with, like, by the way, I'm overlooking all that stuff because there's something about him or whatever, that I would definitely No, say, I want like, to. I'm just lazy. Yeah. I haven't like, seen him lately. It's just 85% of therapists suck. Just like no, 80, I know. 85% of My everybody. last therapist was like, I go, well, I got nothing to talk about. And he was like... We don't have to talk. Oh. I was like, oh, fuck. He, he just starts washing a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just staring at me. And I was like, all right. Is this what we're doing? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I was like, oh. then my, my mind is just, I'm, I'm like, well, how long can I keep this up? And then it becomes about keeping it up. And yeah. I'm like, well, this is stupid. I'm here for a reason. I want to. Want you to tell me why I'm so fucked, fucked up. up? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, Just tell me, home, man. Fix something or admit you can't, and give me my money back. Yeah, let's n- let's talk. You talk. What, what do you think is fu- what do you think is fucked up about you? What, 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 what me? Is, yeah. Oh, take your oh, pick. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Dealer's choice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I mean, uh, 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 social awkward. I'm just awkward. I'm I'm uh, I'm a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but you don't. But you you. My mind is on fire. Is it? But, yeah. But, but, but to, I'm not thinking about anything good or intelligent. It's just like, ah, you fucking is there asshole. A mo- <laughs> is there a theme, if you could identify it within that flame, is like, like I'll go first and say, like, it's, it's, some, it's just like, don't kick me out. Don't kick me out. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, like I'm most Ooh. preoccupied by, like, my, I'm, I'm just like, well, just like, like, like look, like, uh, don't kick me out. Like, I just have this, like, like, don't kick me out of society. Like, don't. I feel like that's way deeper than what my mind says to me. My mind's always like, Oh, you, you look like an asshole right now. You, you just get said a haircut. That, you just said something really stupid, and that person hates you. Now that person, like, like. But it's that even, sounds like you're just going. I mean, I think all those things stupid. I'm just yeah. That's, yeah, but like, then then also you know like who, who what nobody's thinking about me. Right, and like, what if, and what if what would be the worst thing that would happen if they thought all yes of the exactly the worst thing is theoretically that they would like they would like. Yeah, kick you out, which doesn't oh, happen, okay. right? Like, like, so, yeah, I, yeah. I, I guess I, I'm sort of thinking if, yeah, but it's all kind of like summed up as like, like, oh, uh, how am I driving? Like, 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 uh, you're trying to put energy into the interface. You're going like, hey, I hear you. Like, 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 you know, I don't know. It's like, 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 I, I want to say the right thing and all this stuff. And it's like, and then that manifests itself as like things that might make you like awkward or you say the wrong thing sometimes. And then I'm always thinking like. Well, so and the opposite end of that spectrum isn't like s- just like a sociopath that's just like doesn't give a fuck and is like like yeah. yeah I got this man like what's this guy talking about I'm gonna listen to everything he says and then I'm gonna like mine him for weaknesses I kind of jealous of sociopaths I know almost. I totally am like well, yeah. well, I think everybody is like yeah. we're fascinated with them like we wish we could take like a little sociopath like a little supplement sniff of so- yeah of like, like do a little like like snuff and box and feel like what that's like for uh, ten minutes or just do like a little bit to get you take the edge off. Of your wanting to not get arrested, yeah. and you're like, so you're, you're just like, oh, I'm a little, I'm a little five percent sociopath. I'm feeling yeah. it like enough to relax because yeah. nobody wants to talk to somebody that's thinking about how they're being received. Oh shit! It's like we're all a bunch of suction cups trying to suck on each other. Yeah, and that's that like sucks. Yeah, man. Uh, it does. <laughs> 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 that's how uh, that's how humans laugh. <laughs> I hate I hate that the guys like oh I've got like like oh what do I notice that your hair I know that's the thing that pisses me I'm off it's like well this like, isn't working you're not working like very the, the, hard the to most, get these answers it's the most su- superficial thing you could possibly I think say he was probably after he said that like oh fuck I fucked up <laughs> <laughs> I hope that so. would be and then he goes to therapy and he's like. I said the worst thing. I did it. I got, I got this bag of dirt coming to see me. He's got <laughs> long hair. I just want to get a fucking haircut. With a beard. Oh, what are we doing? We want someone to get a haircut. We don't say it. <laughs> we try to point them in the direction where they'll realize they want to get a haircut. That's right. Now go in the now corner get out of here. and piss your pants on purpose. <laughs> oh, Clive, do it. And then that yeah. guy goes to his therapist, and it's like, like, just fucking, like, it's just a fucking dominatrix, God, God, like, putting clamps on his nipples. Shh, fucking eat my cum, you little sheep. And he's like, no, I'm sorry. 
And then she goes to a therapist, and it's just like a weird, like, wicker man. (laughs) (laughs) We're all being led by a lunatic. That's the thing we should be thinking about when you hear every therapist has a therapist. Oh, shit. Well, what is... Is there some shrink on the moon, like, making us all crazy? That, there's there a Lestat therapist? It's God. Like, it's mm, like God. Talk it's about God. I'd like therapy. And then they're all just disseminating. Ooh. But Rob, yeah. you seem like an eye contact kind of guy. You always look me straight in the, <sighs> straight in the face. Or, or yeah. is, but is it, is it hard for you? Is it no, difficult? No, oh. I'm okay with that. But now that you mention it, I'm looking away from you. Right. You know, I don't like talking about eye contact. Yeah. It's a weird you thing know? to think about. I don't mind looking at people's eyes that aren't looking at mine. Ooh. But here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like I don't like it right that now. It feels a little healthy though, right? What? Just like wait, wait, wait. To allow ourselves yeah. to do this? I love you. Yeah, I love, I love you. you. I respect you. I love you and I respect you. I'm in the moment, I'm mirroring you. Yeah. I don't I'm for real though, we're not deflecting yeah. with comedy. Okay. I really like you. Get a I'm haircut. so happy like you that too. you decided to come on the show. <laughs> like I, that you contacted me. I like I have yeah. a lot of shame and well, I'm talking about myself. I like you. Um, I like you. And I'm not joke- making a joke either. I'm actually responding that the reason that I contacted you to come on the show is because I love this show, and I love you, and I, I, I really look up to you, and I respect you. Yay. <laughs> Let's just, do you want to both look at Jeff? We'll both, both look at Jeff? We, okay, at- here we go. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that, you're making me feel... Like, like I'm a psychopath because I'm a big eye contact person. I love looking at people's eyeballs. I think society wants you to have eye contact. I think it's like something we've created. Like, we've made that a thing. I don't think, like, humans naturally want to make eye contact. I think it's something that culture has, like, accepted. Like, I, 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 you know, I travel around doing shows and stuff, and I like to go out and wander and walk. And I'm very fascinated by strangers. I, I, like, like, I like meeting people. And if you walk up the road in certain, like in New York City, you, people make eye contact. Like you can be on a subway and people look at you and, you know, various kinds of reactions. People flirt. Uh, but then you go like, like, like strangely, like Seattle, nobody makes eye contact there. Like, it's like, like I, I noticed like towns that there's some cultures where just there's zero eye contact. Milwaukee. Milwaukee, <laughs> yeah. I think that most they people don't even, just, they don't have, have that much yeah. going on, and most people like because that felt good, I guess. But yes, I it did. We, we, we looked at each other and we and we were yeah. honest with each other. We were in the moment, and then I think like then like worse people than us. It was kind of are like you should do that all the time. Yeah. You should do that all the time, bro. Eat broccoli and do that, and they're, it's just like, well, that's because the, if you did it all the time, like the most you could, like you'd you'd feel like this oh, much. Oh Jesus! And if I every time I saw you, you'd be like, oh, here comes Rob Cordry again. He's gonna look at me right in the eyes and tell me how much he loves me. I don't me. think people could handle how much I feel, and I don't think. I, but I, more importantly, I think you and I could. But we'd be like, I love you, I love you. Uh, uh, it's great. I, like I really respect you and all this stuff. And I think people, I think then people around us would be like, look at these two fucking jerks. <laughs> yes. Like what are they doing? I said, what kind of latte do you want? Hey, you're you're like 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 why do you guys gotta like well, fucking? Then like, we'd they be, would make fun of us. We'd be having that this conversation in a, inappropriate. We'd be in like a Starbucks. Have, but, we well, should, but wait, where are you supposed to We should to have it contact? at a show in front of a hundred people. <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 the, the, ostensibly, you're supposed to just constantly be looking at everybody into their goddamn yeah. souls. I'm like, I don't really like, like we, we did that tour, and like I met like a thousand people a night. Like, uh, okay, I'm flattering myself. There's like 200 people a night. But like <laughs> the people that stand in line, like, a vast majority of my audience is like, like, is like, like going to stare at something else at the height of their effusiveness. Like, like what they're really expressing themselves. I look at that as like they're taking that part of their enterprise down so that they can divert. So they could tell so because you. Because it's time to be honest and yes. who wants to like look into someone's eyes yes. while you have something really yeah. important to say. Like it's like like like, like that's so distracting. Like I don't mind if you can do it fine, but like maybe some people are like like distracted by eye contact, and then they're like they're not able to find their words, and then they're right. not able to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. think, I think that's in, in general, point. my experience is that men um, are really, really uh, uncomfortable looking other men in the face, um, and like, like if you like meet somebody and like you shake, like, oh, hi, nice to meet you, and you look them in the eye. It's it's pretty rare to meet somebody that really just looks you right in the eye and goes, hey, hey, 
Like I'm, I'm so and so, and and mostly, instantly they look at the ground or I'm at something start else. Doing it. I'm gonna well, start looking like, at everybody. Well, no, but there is an, yeah, it's there like is a video an amount game. of like Dale Carnegie like being oh God, tasteful so with your. I looked at five people and it's like fucking insane. Like like what? The, I just did it with like five. You just people. made eye contact. Yeah, he got you, got yeah. I no, got he, you, he he came. This guy right, right here me. can't even handle it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who in the crowd right now is uh, is the worst at eye contact? Is anybody here like this terrible? No, he, you've been you've been. Pretty, he's been making been, it. I feel like we've had uh, a nice <laughs> relationship. Silent seduction. Yeah, I feel like we've no, we've like I what, feel like name? I like this guy. Harper. 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 I like Harper a like lot. Like the beer. No, that's hard. We've Harper. had a, a lot of eye contact, right? Enough. Eh. <laughs> well, now we're talking about it. we fucked it up, right? Right. You don't like talking about eye contact? No, it's like we. Why do we have to? I guess. Yeah, you think I'm about sorry. It? I I'll told get you a about the therapist I no, had that she was like, uh, uh, she, she. You could tell that it was like, oh, she's looking at me as some kind of like. <laughs> sorry, I just looked at. Uh, I just sent lasers into Harper. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Harper almost fainted, by the way. Yeah, Harper's like, oh, fuck! Oh, uh, this is completely off topic, but there was this guy that DM'd me saying he could get me a free bird scooter, and Matthew McGinnis, if you're listening, give me a free bird scooter. <laughs> Wait, like your own dedicated bird scooter? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> everybody. Well, that... When but you like, said let's, this let's, is going to be off topic. I, I, I have a question about your free bird scooter. Let's say, let's say Matthew comes through on that, and you have your bird scooter, and you, you take it down to the market, and you put it outside. Is someone going to go and try to get on your bird I scooter? I think so. It like locks you out. No, I got like an icon comes over. You have, you have tried to interface with a special <laughs> VIP bird scooter. Yeah. I don't know how that works because they do, they're making ones that you can like buy or rent to own or something that are like more personal use. But that's my question is how does that, how does that work in a world where everyone thinks you could just take them and run? Oh, you just got to put numbers or chevrons on them. Right. I tried like, to, oh, that's a proly scooter. I, I tried to convince that. my wife the other night. Uh, I was like, hey, let's go out and try and find some scooters and ride around on these scooters. Yeah. And she was uh -huh. like, absolutely not. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And yeah. I was like, come on. Never. I like that if They're they do fun. the... they I want to do the tiered scooter system because then they can... Because like they have curfews. Like all of them shut off at 1130. But yeah, then they the can fuck? have the rich they people's do? ones yeah, stay on until like 1215. And that's the red hour. And it's just like... <laughs> the, the, rich, the rich people <laughs> with their carnival masks. You want to be like And their tights town. are like going through the town. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like... Yo-ho, girl! Dog town! Like, like getting fucking... Like yeah. surfing the yeah. pavement. You look yeah. like you're walking home a great way. <laughs> <laughs> like all these, yeah, like, exactly. these noblemen <laughs> circling a, a, a lone milkmaid, <laughs> like <laughs> whose but, scooter but you, ran but out. You, like, you have to dress up. You have to dress up all super, like eyes wide shut. Yeah. Like you gotta fucking. Everybody, 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 everybody's wearing uh, uh, two colored tights, like in the seventies Romeo and yeah. Juliet. Like, uh, it's like I bite my thumb at you. Oh, I bite my thumb at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing is, like, I I see people on them, and like, there's, when there's a dude, because I wear suits and I'm tall, and I see tall guys in suits like going around town. Oh like, yeah, that is a bummer. And you look like a fucking knob. Like a, a lot of people look like <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. If if you fucking see me going down the road in a fucking e scooter, <laughs> what? Just shoot me with I a would, fucking like, shot. I would be so proud of you. Huh? It would be, be fun. I no, no. I don't know. No, I, don't, I, I would also, be like, that's Jeff also, Davis I, in a suit. Yeah, like, fucking... just walk, walk. <laughs> it's slow. Walk. When you're it's wearing a, a suit, scooter. you want to walk though. Yeah. They're fun. Your shoes are I made to hit the. I want to like, maximize clack. the time that I'm fucking looking good going yeah, down the man, road. You look fantastic. I don't gotta be somewhere that much that I gotta well, look like a fucking. Does. But he's what? maximizing the amount of people who could see him per unit time. Exactly. That's right. Thank you, Spencer. No, no, That's the guy on the scooter because he's, he's, he's making your it. You're only no. walking like half a mile. This guy, he's gone three miles. He's yeah, seen but, three but, miles but, of traffic. But you're only getting so much of it. You're only getting a glimpse of, of me on the scooter. Uh, if you're, oh yeah, but if what I'm, a glimpse! He's it, zipping down. Yeah, but he's flashed. He's flashed up. He's dressed to the nines. I would rather see me walking across the, the crosswalk than zipping me? across the crosswalk. Sure. Fuck yeah. There's a I lot of people who look Jeff silly. Davis I, I want to let, let me wash all, all over your eyeballs. But all I'm, all I'm taking in with quantity, my eyeballs is I'm like, why, why can't that guy, doesn't that guy have a credit card? Like, why can't he get a scooter? Oh, yeah. Look at the guy. Let's He's got a tie bar. He's I got, got a, a pocket square. He I looks fantastic. Fucking I got a checkbook. <laughs> I mean, well, right it doesn't work on scooters. Of a bitch. Oh, it. If, if they make an e scooter that takes checks, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, <laughs> Citibank. 
Allow me to make an introduction between you and Lowe's Hardware. I'm Daphne and intend to use this shovel for an interim. In the meantime, could my income speak for itself? I trust you to uh, take the necessary... Uh... Memo, erotic cakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, and now they're called e-cakes. <laughs> e-cakes. God, I gotta pee. Go, yeah. go pee. No. Go take a break. No, He's almost you, done. He's I almost mean, out. It's, it's like, you know, this, how long can this show I know. Be? I don't want to go pee and then come back. That'll be stupid. That would suck. Yeah, that would, that would be stupid. How yeah. was there, there was an I, I, I'll, I'll go backstage with you and you pee, but I'm going to make eye contact with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. I've never heard anything yeah. more nightmarish than that. I'm really worried at the Rick and Morty office. There's one urinal, and I worry that uh, because I'm on this painkiller medication that makes your pee like dark orange. Uh, I'll take like, that. Like almost red, like pumpkin orange, like 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 sci-fi, like weird. <laughs> and um, and it just like I worry about like. I just don't, it's like, like, like guys don't get as many UTIs and like I'm in the men's room and it's like, you're at a urinal and there's like a straight Mrs. Robinson shot between my legs of like, if you see the boss peeing and you just like, <laughs> does did he a know take. <laughs> like, that it's not supposed to be that color? Cause I, I had to learn like they are going to respect you less. I don't understand. Well, I don't want them worrying about me. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't respect that, me yeah. less. It's like, oh, no, shit, no, Harmon was in who, here. Who examines the neighbor pee? Yeah. You flush. I think, you I, don't think look. It, I think it might catch your eye against white porcelain. It and does it's, like, it's the wrong color entirely. Oh, if these it's are just like, flushless. No, it's no, just they like are. if He's you're walking, talking about I'm saying there's traffic behind me. Here oh, I am peeing. You can yeah. see between my legs and you see like, it's like I think the color would catch your eye and you'd be like, God damn. Damn! Oh, I get that it. dude loves Amstel. Yeah, like, that'd be weird. Like, 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 <laughs> Amstel. like that's what I just don't want them like talking in the in the in the non break room and being like, like, dude, that guy needs to like hydrate. Like, well, what if you close your legs so there's no gap in there? You know? <laughs> yeah, that'll make it easier to pee. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a you solutions man. I don't well, know that's the peeping. thing. You can no go into looking. the sit-down stall and pee in the, pee in yeah. the privacy. That's do that. what I do. Do that. Don't it's worry so about luxurious urinal. to sit yeah. while peeing. Holy I'm a, shit! I'm a, I'm a, at home, I'm a sit-down peer. Like, like I've been standing all day, motherfucker. And like <laughs> that was also, really brave because I'm tall, and it, it, it eliminates. Uh, My penis back. is too Splashes. small small for sit-down peeing to be enjoyable. Say what? Well, Jeff's. I I, I, Say, I, I I didn't hear you. Say, come again? My penis is too small for ah. sit down peeing to be like a vacation from stand up peeing. <laughs> like I, I it's just, it's just, like like it's not like I'm like oh I hate sit down peeing. It's just like when you have a smaller like grower grower not a shower and it's like it's yes. like a, it's like tucked between your legs and it's like is it like it's kind of like. <laughs> It it, it 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 doesn't. It's not unless for some reason you'd be like semi tumescent. It's not necessarily pointed straight down at the water. It can be like tumescent, pointing forty five <laughs> degrees right at the crack of the between the seat and the thing. So uh, like there have been times when I've just been like, ah, I gotta poop and I also pee, but I'll just do them both at the same time. Sometimes you ah, pee on your psst, butt of the shorts. Psst, psst. What the what the fuck? And there's like, I'm, the oh pants. shit, I'm peeing in between the crack <laughs> of the toilet seat. It's like going out of the. Oh. And I'm right. like, oh, it's because your dick's small. <laughs> you can't complain about this on your podcast. No one, no, no, no true man will understand. Jeff has the but opposite problem. Are. His dick like falls into the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, which I is, mean, big deal. Might be a worse problem. It's gross. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. And I'm the one with the UTI. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You, yeah, I'm the one with the UTI. You're snuffling. You're the one that deserves a UTI. <laughs> you should, you should, you should have banana peels in that shit. I, I should, I should be the safest. That should be my only advantage, <laughs> Darwinian. Like, like I do. His dick I, wears it, a suit. I have a fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> shield around. I got like, my, is my that dick a nipple? Has a no, too. it's a dick. I mean, if you get me excited, I'm boing. <laughs> my dick will write a check <laughs> that your ass can't D cash. cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I said D cakes. <laughs> oh, like erotic cakes. Thank you. D cakes. Come on, man. Yeah. All right. Well, there's only, you know, yeah. 
There was a there was there was a there was a D and D recap, but that's not yeah. Well, the, we should hold it until we actually play because okay. then it'll be like relevant, you know. I, right. I cut a recap in in audio. Oh boy, it'll be so fun when we use it one of these days. Wait, what do you, what do you mean? You have an audio recap that you'll play for us? So traditionally, Jeff plays a music, and I go like, "Last time." On Harmon time, or whatever the fuck, and then I, like, explain yeah. stuff. So instead, I cut it out of audio. So instead of me explaining it, Dan's like, what are we doing? And Jeff's like, ah, I think we should do the thing. And Steve's like, I don't know, you guys. And I'm like, a goblin jumps out. And so, like, you know, maybe it's more like a TV recap or something that, yeah. that's only giving you relevant bits rather than me just, like, coming up with it on the fly. I mean, I'm good okay. at that, too. Don't h- get me wrong. How, do we, how do we physically do that here in the space? Do we, we play well, it? we have a sound system that can play music and all sorts of files. Oh, our, our audio guy, Chris Boroff, is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now with video <laughs> capability. <laughs> He's overqualified. I mean, that's a perfect way for him to leave. It's true. It's I got to take the funny. L on that. I got to take the L, as the kids say. Dad, you forgot I also do video. All right. You deserve a better Baseball dad. Baseball metaphor. Go to the Game Grumps. It's beautiful that he's going to the Game Grumps. I love those guys. They're yeah. great. And I love that they're like still successful and like fucking showering people with money. That's great. I'm proud of them after what I put them through. <laughs> Played the cat in the hat game with them. Shouldn't have done that to them. Those are good kids, the Game Grumps. I love them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You ever go over there and play video games with the Game Grumps? I don't know what you're talking about. It's fun. <laughs> we should hook you guys up. Chris, make Rob Cordry go on the Game Grumps. Oh, man, you'd be great on the Game I'll Grumps. I'll go. Yeah. Chris, it all right? Do you have, like, a video game that you're upset, kind of, like, have a relationship with emotionally, like, bad no. or good? Like Cat I'm in the Hat? Very, I'm afraid of video games. I don't really, I can't, I feel um, like an idiot when I play them because I can't do it. That's part of the fun <laughs> on Game Grumps. I don't understand what it is. It's fine. <laughs> why are they grumps? Why, why are they grumps? I'm sure because they're a bit ornery, and it's kind of fun. I want to do it. What is this game, grumps? <laughs> I'm sure it starts with, like, you know, one guy going, like, I hate this game, like, you know, right. and, and being good at showing you why he hates the oh, game. Oh, game grumps. And now it's, like, cut to, <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> I want to play Stratego now. What, 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 no why don't we idea. all get together? Why don't we all get together? The four, just, the, just the four of us and play some uh, some Stratego, but like loads of eye contact. We can do it in my <laughs> pool on Wednesday. In your pool? If you get a waterproof uh, Stratego, oh, then we're fucking talking. That, that would be, be the good. worst. All right. <laughs> I'm not going uh, in that pool. Well, Rob Cordry's new book is coming out. It's yes. uh, four, four, four hour treaties. Uh, neg week. It's about dating. That's so right. You only have to neg women for four hours a That's week. That's right. It's in the self help uh, slash philosophy slash, uh, I don't know, <laughs> uh, section. Uh, if you wrote a book, would it be prose or would it be nonfiction fiction? Have you written a book, by the way? No. Oh. No. I, I, I've always wanted to write a book. You got to do it. Um, you, I guess I, um, I want I feel like that is the for some reason that's the measure of success I, I, I feel the same way I'm too Having lazy to get a, off my ass and yeah, I, mean, do I don't know how to do it I don't know where to even people begin that, people that have books published I'm so envious of I'll tell you what's even more too. successful than that you get a book deal and you like give the money back, oh, but like, having like, a book deal lazy. feels like so the you, most... you just said fuck it and gave him the money back. <laughs> yeah, but first I spent it, so <laughs> it was like I right, is that like part of it was like oh shit I'm not writing your book am I? And they're like yeah, uh, like, uh, come on we gave you money and I was like and then I like gave money to a, a person that was like helping me write my book. So I was like I truly like. Like, it was like, not only did I get paid to write a book, I paid to write a book. That's, I paid to not write a book. That's the that's fucking, the trick. that's top yeah. tier. That's the Like, trick. Donald Trump got paid to write a book. Uh, then some, somebody else like, paid to write a book. I, I paid to not write a book. Mm. You I'm, got like, paid. I'm like yeah. Omni Hotep. <laughs> I'm like, no, leave me out of it. I'm the that's architect. That's the gig right there. I'm like, uh, what's his name? Old old penguin guy. The uh, Danny the, DeVito. Uh, Dick Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. Okay. I'm like, keep me out of it. Keep me out of there. <laughs> the, 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 the mark of success is uh, staying in between the lines of history. <laughs> 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 I just want to, uh, uh, yeah. 
I don't want, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't going to write a good book. It was going to be a shitty book. Because, uh, yeah. So I gave the money back. How much? It was a lot. It was like, like 200 grand. I don't know. It was like, so you like, spent it and then paid them, you, you wrote them a check for 200 grand. Oh, you, you, no, you didn't write them a check. You Venmo them. <laughs> I can't remember what the details are. Oh, you but had to it, give like, it back. It cost me like oh, a ton shit. of money. Like I was like, oh god damn, I ended up like eating a fucking blood bunch of money, and I was like, worth it. It was it was giving me so much anxiety because I was like, I don't want to write a bad book. I do want to write a book, but I want to write a book about uh, writing. I just want to write a book about like like the craft. Right. <laughs> that sounds obnoxious, but I don't want to write a book about it. when I was in Milwaukee, I smoked a lot of pot. I, I just, I, it's, the time is gone. I, Me for, and for I, I think you should do some young adult crime stuff. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think you should write a book about fiction? not writing a book. I should, I should write. But the, that sounds the, like a great ex- like, we story. Can all write these, we can all write books now. Oh, yeah. And like, we, we don't really need publishers. Like, like, no offense to them, but like. You could self publish uh, on Amazon. Yeah, you, I can guess, like, yeah. you could just like write a book. Mm-hmm. Ooh. But it's not going to hit your <laughs> so, but does that metric hit that? of like, I did yeah, it. Yeah, right. No, it not at all. Satisfy that, like that's I why I'm a, a genius because I like I took I'm like <laughs> Double J gave me the money they would they would have published a shitty book like like so I did it. Yes. And here's your money back. You here's it, some more it. money for letting me have that experience. <laughs> no shitty book, and now you I can self publish a book anytime I want. And it's if I sell great. it for a dollar a copy, I can make a million dollars because a million people will be like, I got to see that car. Ride. I got it. Now you're setting it up. Like yeah. you've got, I got to see that book. I'm going to put a, a coupon in each dollar book that you get $10 if you don't tell, if you don't give 10 people a free copy of the book. You get $10 if you don't read it. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Cliffhanger. Thank you for coming to Harmontown, Thank everybody. You. That's our time. Rob Cordry, everybody. Rob Cordry. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys. That was fun. And let's give it up one more time for Chris Bora for all the work he's done. In all media, video, audio, the s- all senses. Paper mache. Nolan, the new guy. Thank you, Zach and Zach, Nolan and video Church maniac. and Brendan and everybody here at the uh, Dynasty Typewriter. Spencer Crittenden is your game master. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you all for coming. Drive fast and take chances, won't you? Did you get any of that? It's a good show.